Well, good evening and welcome. It is playoff football out here at Chanute High School. We're at the Chanute Community Sports Complex for a little Thursday night football. Coach Chad Graham is with me. My name is Dave Rimbold. Uh, welcome. Y'all been waiting all week, not all week, no, no, part com- of the week. We're competing against the NFL tonight. We, we for are. Our, for our playoff football. This feels like bonus football. For sure. Feels like bonus football. Uh, we're playing on a Thursday night because we're trying to stay ahead of maybe some inclement weather coming tomorrow. So maybe a lot more of you watching on the stream. This is Comet Vision. This is all the camera work and the technical stuff behind the scenes, the production folks. This is all high school kids, Coach. Straight live, no editing. That's yep. so awesome. They do a wonderful job. You are tuned in to the best high school sports stream in the state. I believe that. It's all uh, thanks to the Hands work of these down. kids. For sure. Hands down. The marching band is taking the field. We're going to kick it to an interview of the line coach. Offensive line? Offensive line coach. Uh, we'll be right back. I am Darren Jones with Comet Vision, and I'm here with offensive lines coach for the Comets, Mr. Sizemore. So, how do you think your offensive line has performed this this season, and how have they contributed to the success of the team? I'm super pleased with uh, the the way in which our guys have been able to step up throughout the year. Uh, We had to fill some holes from last year. I am Darren Jones with Comet Vision, and I'm here with offensive lines coach for the Comets, Mr. Sizemore. So, how do you think your offensive line has performed this this season, and how have they contributed to the success of the team? I'm super pleased with uh, the the way in which our guys have been able to step up throughout the year. Uh, We had to fill some holes from last year. You can obviously never replace some of the guys that we had to replace, and so therefore... We've, we've really kind of developed our own identity this year, and I, I think that we've really done a phenomenal job uh, growing together as a group, and uh, we just continue to uh, try to get better week by week. So tell us a little bit more about those those guys you lost this season. Well, obviously you can never never replace a Colton LaCrone or a Tucker Davis or Nate Cunningham. Um, so, so you don't necessarily try to replace them as individuals because – we have to do it with just different, different guys, different um, carriage types, different athletic sets, and so we we run different, a little bit different plays, and uh, try to you know maximize the strengths of each of those guys. You know, for instance, Garrett Love is a, a physical guy that's it's a pretty fast guy, and so um, we we try to get him out in space, um, on the same way that um, 
we take uh, Hunter Anderson and doing a lot of the same same types of things there. Now, on the other hand, we've got Dax Axelson, who stepped up for us at center, and he's just done a phenomenal job, uh, you know, becoming the cornerstone of our offensive line, making the line calls, uh, calling out the strengths of Mike Linebacker on different plays, and I'm um, extremely proud of you know, all of those guys for stepping up in addition to, uh, you know, our, our foundations from the previous uh, teams of the past, Brian and then Guts. So how do you feel your offensive line reacts to different defensive formations that other teams might show? You know, one of the uh, positives of playing a diverse schedule like we have is we've seen a lot of different fronts. We've seen 3-3 three, three stack defenses. We've seen 4-2 uh, boxes, 4-1 boxes, 3-4 um, defenses, and even a 5-2 down at Coffeyville. And so uh, we knew that we were going to see some different things going into this season. So last summer, we really tried to sit down and you know, dive into the mental side of things so that we could be prepared so it wasn't just quick hitting and, and surprising when other teams would bust out in it. And I think that that's helped us a lot in adjusting in-game. Um. Do you think they're stronger in pass protection or run blocking? And how do you fit that into your offensive scheme? Yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like to be a complete lineman, you have to be able to do both. And one of the best ways in which you can protect your passer is to have an efficient run game. Uh, we, we've been very fortunate this year to be really pretty balanced throughout. Um, obviously, with a guy like Ty Levy, you want to get him the ball as much as you can but at the same time you have crazy awesome weapons on the outside as well with you know Eric Herb distributing the ball and um, you know getting it where it needs to be on time and so um, as, as far as our effectiveness as an offensive line we're just trying to put those guys in the right situations to succeed and you know if we do our job you know their stats are, are really really good and and so far this year, we, we've been really successful up front, and it, and it shows with those guys and the accolades that they're receiving. All right, well, thank you for coming on, and good luck. Thanks. Go Comets. are back and ready for football action. We are just awaiting the teams to come out on the field for quarterfinal football in the state of Kansas. It is Piper High School, the Piper Pirates versus your Chanute Blue Comets. And then this will actually will determine to see who goes to the quarterfinals. Excuse me, I should re-say that. So we are ready. The six and three Piper Pirates, the Chanute Blue Comets at nine and zero. Oh. If you look at the yards, Chanute more total yards, but the ratios are about the same. We may see, may see a very similar passing and running attack from the Piper Pirates uh, that we're used to with Chanute. So we're eager to get this game underway. Piper is a far cry from last week's opponent, uh, Schlegel High School. Uh, this is a team that's accomplished. This is a team that has played tough competition throughout the year, and uh, they'll be coming out to play. They got a lot of beef on the line, coach. And they will be out here uh, to, to win this game. Chanute's got to come out with their foot on the gas. Uh, definitely ready to smack them in the mouth. Yeah, it's, it's probably the toughest game we played all year. Game uh, by what we're looking at the stats. Uh, yeah, it's a scary schedule. When you look at the schedule Piper played, they played a lot of 5A teams. They beat Topeka West. Uh, they beat DeSoto. They, they've beaten some teams that would have provided challenges to Chanute. So... This game is going to be a good game, and it's going to be interesting. The wind is really kind of howling in, as, it, as it does in southeast Kansas, and both of these teams are used to a passing attack. So in the words of Forrest Gump, if you're going to be going tonight, you're going to be running. <laughs> and it's going to, it, it may come down to which of these teams is going to be able to establish a running dominance tonight. Get, get, get the wheels rolling. And then they've got the short game. We've got a short pass game. We don't know what they carry because we don't get to see, but Herb can get it. He can get the ball out to the flat to lead here too. Yeah, I, both of these teams, I, I expect to see some offense tonight. Sure. It's going to be the team with the defense that can step up, make plays, get themselves off the field that is going to probably win this game. And, of course, 
you know, you can factor turnovers and mistakes will change the course of the game as well. We'll have to wait and see. Here come your Chanute Blue Comets. Let's watch them come out on the field. Jacket and Axelson carrying their flags for them. Yeah, huddled there with the uh, student section as they do traditionally before every game. They come out flanked by members of the student section. It's a really great uh, pregame ritual they have. And of course, the band out there as well. The band uh, does such a great job every, every game. The Star Spangled Banner has just been played. And of course, they'll come out here with the halftime show. All these kids. They work hard and they are ready. And we are ready to watch them take the field. Your Snoop Blue Comets. That will all be determined on how we start the game, whether who come mentally prepared. Yeah, the fireworks go off. We are almost ready for football, Coach. You couldn't ask for a better night, actually. Oh. The wind is blowing, but it's beautiful. I'm. I'm, I was a little, at the beginning of the week, I wasn't so sure about the move to Thursday. Right. I was like, oh, come on. Yeah. It's Friday Night Lights, man. But you know what? It's a perfect night. It's a little windy, and but we'll see some adjustments, which is a fun part of any sport. For Let's sure. see what these coaches can do, how they adjust to the, the elements. Let's get this game started. They're going to go through their pregame stuff. We'll be right back with football right after this. As we said, Coach, this is going to be a very different game than last week as Piper still hasn't exited the field. They're still out there getting pumped up and Schnute's trying to take their position for receiving this kickoff. Piper did win the toss and has deferred. They will give the ball to Schnute first. It's bold. That is an interesting call. After you see how we've moved the ball down the field on the first quarter. That's our most scoring quarter. Yeah, most, uh, um, I don't know. I, I don't, you would expect most schools to go ahead and take the ball first. You give Schnute the ball first, you may not You may not see the lead. It set the tempo. You would think in the playoffs you would trust your offense to set the tempo. Piper takes the field. The Piper Pirates coached by John Black. He's got several assistants. This is a senior and junior-laden team. This is a, 
a team, as we said, who's got a resume. They've they've gotten some big wins this year, played some 5A schools, lost to only good teams, coach. So this is going to be a this is going to be a great football game that I expect tonight. It's just warming them up for now. Nah. Come on, it's just warming them up, Dave. Here's time for Ty Leedy to get us a touchdown or seamster to find the seam. Piper kicker Caleb Kurgan, a junior, will start this football game off. We are about to get underway. The music is pumping, and here we go. I bet you he kicks it to the five. It is deep, and good call, coach. It's at the four where the ball is taken by Schnoot. He's got a head of steam running up the field. Oh, past nice. the 30, dragging the pile to the 35. And that's where Schnoot will start this first position on offense. That's like a train. He's just kept his legs moving. That kicker's ranked third or second in the state for kicking. That's why I guess the five. Okay. The coach already coming with the research. First and 10. Schnoot will start this drive from their own 36. Same offensive starters you're used to for the Blue Comets as they take the field. We'll see if they have any wrinkles here early. Well, they do. Two running backs oh, on the field. With the full house, huh? Quentin Harding with Ty Leedy in the backfield. They didn't show a lot of this last week, Coach. No. They didn't. Here comes a blitz early, and they get into the backfield, and Harding's tripped up. Loss of a couple. Piper, Piper's players very geeked up, guards as the kids say. The guards are going to have to narrow their stands. It seems they had both of their backers come into the A-gap. Second and 12. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how many times they do that blitz. be interesting. They could get taken advantage of if, oh, if yeah, that's well, going to be their game plan. We'll Second and 12. Two backs in the backfield again, and now joined by a third. Seamster behind him. This is an interesting formation. Seamster following the blockers. He's got a lot of space. He's across the 40. Oh, he just missed. If he could have cut left. Blockers did their job. It was awesome. It's run to the 41. It's going to bring up third down and five after a gain of seven. So Seamster had some blocks, and he's following and just... Nice tackle by number 32. Like the way Seamster's running already off that, after that kickoff return. He is moving forward with force. Third down and five. They're sticking with these two backs. Three wide receivers. We'll see what Herb does here. Here's the snap, and he's looking, looking to pass. Now he's going to tuck in a run. He's got a lot of space. He's out 41. Oh, now hit That's late on the out of bounds. Be a... No flag, and no, yes, there it comes in late. Say, that might be on us for talking smack because it comes so late. Well, he was short of the first down, so this is going to be a big call. Be interesting to see. That was clearly out of bounds. That was clean past the blue line. It is. Oh, he's going to turn on his mic, then tell us. Dead ball foul, personal foul. That is a lead hit out of bounds. That's going to result in a first down. Well, sometimes the the adrenaline can be a bad thing, Coach. The way they were pumped up to crawl onto our field and to come on there and just take it as a start, it seemed like they were rallied up. That might settle them down. Well, it's that's one of those plays, too, where, I mean, I don't think there was ill will meant there. He's just coming with a full no, head of steam. I'm, and he hit him. Yeah. But you got to watch yourself. You got to watch yourself. You he can was, dive I, on the grass. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt your team 15 in the first down. First and 10 on the Piper side of the field now. Schnute sticking with this different lineup. Here is the give to Quinton Harding, who's tough running up the middle for a few. So Harding, the sophomore, 5'10", 171 pounds. Ty Leedy has not touched the ball yet. Axelson... Helping the guard go against number 70, 6'4", starting senior. Brings second down and seven. This could be this could be brilliant. You, you wear him down with a little Quentin. Then you let Ty Leedy run through. With the speed. And not that Quentin don't have speed. He's second and seven. Herb in the gun. He's back. Now we give to Leedy. Leedy following a blocker on the left. A lot of room. 25, 20, 15, it. 10, 5. Touchdown. Uh, touchdown, Ty Leedy. 6 nothing. Chanute. 43-yard scamper. They hadn't seen that yet. David looked like they hadn't seen him yet. <laughs> <laughs> they wore him down with a little Quentin. And then they hit him with the speed of Ty Leedy. And Chanute is up early on their first drive. 
Jackson Vaughn out in the field to attempt the extra point. Snap is good. Hold is good. Nice. Kick is good. Chanu leads 7 0. We'll be right back. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Firescape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college age students. During the week, the Firescape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, catch-ups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Firescape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast. Welcome back. Firescape Coffee House open to the high school and college age youth of Southeast Kansas every Friday and Saturday night from 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. excuse me to 11 p.m. safe place for the kids to go hang. Here Schnute leads seven to zero after an impressive first drive coach. Very much. Schnute definitely wasn't lacking. There was one play that was positive for the Pipers. but This one's whistled dead. As maybe we then uh, we did they didn't wait for the whistle. Is that what we have coach? No start. Yeah they didn't start. No one gave them the right to go. Well, they really, they really pulled the plug on this place, didn't they? My goodness, dead silence. It got, it got quieter than church in here. <laughs> now People we, are confused now you gotta, what's going It's on. like every car I ever had in high school. How are we gonna get it going again? <laughs> it's not gonna restart. All right. Now the crowd starts warming themselves back up. Here is the kick. It's the same kick, short. Taken. Oh, well, a little confusion, little and he's not going to go anywhere as the Blue Comets get him down right around the 30. They were going to try to do a little, see if you twist yeah. a little uh, reverse action, fake us out. I don't know what they call that these days, but we used to call it razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. Yeah. yeah. A little razzle dazzle on the return. <laughs> the other guy said, I didn't want any of that. <laughs> well, we talked about which of these defenses would be able to step up and make a stop first. Piper was not up to the challenge. We'll see what Schnuch defense can do. First and 10 for Piper. Quarterback Logan Laddish takes the snap for Piper. He's got it. It is a keeper for Laddish, and he is met by number four, Jace Tarter, who put a stick on him. That's an awesome corner coming in from covering a receiver, reading that, knowing it's a run, and putting a lick on him. It's a gain of about two and a half. It'll bring up second and a long seven. Second and seven, about to go under nine minutes. Slattish, he's got running back Aaron Henson with him. Tight formation, got in motion, number four, it's a handoff to him on a jet sweep looking handoff. And the defense gives up a few yards, but it's gonna bring up third down. It's a gain of five. He had a nice cut back behind his block and seemed it up where or or we had that. And it was a good read. Looked like Freddie Eskridge for Piper. We'll try to get these names down for you for the visiting Pirates. So third down and four. Big play here, Coach. Early big play for the Schnute defense. It'd be a great time to stop them. Be a tone setter for sure if they can get them off the field. Laddish sure. has... Two receivers split out to the far side. He's got the snap. It's a run it's a to his right. Now he cuts it up. Keep. He's going to have to beat a man, no, and he, he stretches out. He didn't get yards. it. They're going to be short. Try to see who that was on the replay. Made a great tackle. It was uh, you know, Ty, Leedy. Ty Leedy. Well, of course it was. And Dag and Dean not going to let him Fourth go. Fourth down and short. Piper giving the appearance that they're going to go for it. Come on, Shanu's got to set a hold here. Get up in there. Fourth and one, the defense up tight. Laddish. Nothing free. Now looking to the sidelines, he's going to drop back. This is going to be one of those pooch punts. They'll drop a man back. No, they won't. He'll just kick it, and it's going to rest where it rests. This ball's going to get in the end zone. Well, that's not what Piper wanted with no return, man. Shanu will get the ball at the 20. We'll keep it right here, Coach. Let's talk about this. Big first stop for Shanu. It's a tone setter, maybe? Could could very easily be. I mean, the offense, we just come out here, and if they do it again, it's definitely a rolling. I know we say every time, 
don't go for that first fourth and one. But should they have gone for fourth down there? What do you think, Coach? Was it close enough? Was it was that too risky? Uh, I mean, they had you quarterback sneak that. They had a I'm lot. Sorry. They had a lot of adrenaline. You going. quarterback sneak that. Yeah. You don't waste the time for a handoff, and you might get yeah. that. They had a lot of adrenaline going, right. and now the defense. We went down, scored. Defense makes a stop, and boy, momentum firmly set for the Blue Comets. They come out in that same formation. Two back set. That was daring on their coach. On the Fake. 40. Here's Herb. Little short pass out to the flats. Is leading. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet. Tripped up beyond the 40 yard line. 43. His wheels just never stop. No. <laughs> Such wonderful balance for Ty. Look at this balance here. He keeps his footing. His that's a that's a Barry Sanders kind of run right there, Kansas style running back. That is keeping your hand on the ground and your wheels going. Just keep your keep going. I mean, it does. The praise doesn't get any higher than that. No, unless you're talking to the Almighty. <laughs> right. Amen. First and ten for the Blue Comets at the 43 yard line. Herb waits the snap. He's going to turn, give to Leedy again, who gets pushed back this time. This time the Piper defense flooded up the middle. They blitzed him. They brought two of their middle backs and were coming. Number 42, Aaron Henson, a good-looking sophomore linebacker. He's made a couple plays already. Seems like we're going to have to use our speed and open it up before we can go up the middle. Second down, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if they do run this play, maybe run it to the right side where you got your beef in, uh, in Gus Thuston. We'll see what they choose to do here. This is uh, usually... Second and long can be a place where they like to run that quarterback. Quarterback, um, I'm hoping draw. We'll see what oh, Urban. Oh, and there's a jump a offside. One. He's going to have a free play. They give to Harding, who doesn't keep his feet. He's tripped up, but this is going to be a five yard penalty. And oh, they didn't throw. Off. They let, they said he got back. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. I don't think I didn't think they had a. Should have. I thought once they broke the plane, it's just that it stops in high school. We should have snapped the ball. But. Okay, brings up third and eleven. No, uh, no call. And Schnoot finds himself in a quandary. He didn't cause us to jump, so he didn't get called. Now Schnoot has not put the ball in the air down the field yet, so we have not seen that'll be in the Piper second secondary quarter. tested. Yeah, we are going into the wind. We'll see what they choose to do here. Here is Dillo in motion. Now here comes the rush. Herb out of the pocket. He's going to have to let one go. He does. Oh, Ooh, almost intercepted. Dangerous pass by Herb. And Schnute will have to punt this one away. That's a hard pass. Running as hard as you can to your right. Throw back across your body. It's just the physics. So a good defensive series for the Pirates. Well, they didn't hang their heads over there after getting scored on and then stopped. Well, that first play where they stuffed Ty Leedy in the backfield kind of set the tone for that drive. And the Blue Comets will punt it away. Oh, here's a bad snap over the head of the punter. It's going to be, oh, it bounces up to him. Is Dillo, or excuse me, Leedy running. Oh, was there a face mask there? Looked like he got turned yeah. around there, but nothing thrown, and Piper's going to be in business in the red zone. Oh, that's just special teams, blooper. He raised his tail in to get down the field, and it went over his head. Well, mistakes will be the name of the game, and Chanute makes their first big mistake on a snap over the head of the punter. The key of long snapping is keeping your tail in down. You're probably pretty lucky that Ty Leedy was the guy back there. I don't think he's usually the punter for this team. He's been punting. Has he been? We're, well, we don't, we only, we don't punt very often. So. <laughs> he didn't start off the season. No, nope, I, I know that. No. Nope. So Piper in the red zone after the turnover on downs. Logan Laddish with three wide receivers to his right. Here is the fake, and now the toss to the wide receiver is beyond his reach. Incomplete pass. They tried to spread us out for that quick pass out there to have grass to see if their runner could beat us. Well, Piper, look, they've been watching their film. They, they, when they passed, they're going to get rid of it quick. They don't want to. They don't want to let Dagan Dean get rolling here, rushing the quarterback. So they're not going to take any big drop backs, at least not early. Same formation coming up here for Piper. Second down and 10. 
crowd's starting to get loud out there. Laddish turns, gives to the running back. He's stacked up, but bounces off the line. Tries to spin out of it, but nobody. Chanute definitely stepped up and stood their offensive line up. There was nothing, nowhere to go. Every hole was closed up. Senior Trey Dillo on the tackle. Also had some, some help from Cade Small as well. Third down and 10. So big play. <laughs> we keep getting these big early plays here, but you feel like these tones, these are tone setting plays. And now you get this ball if you're Piper in the red zone and you've gotten two plays and you haven't gotten a yard. Now it's third and 10, this is big. 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. This be a good time for the DNs to get some pressure and sack the quarterback. Laddish, back to pass. No, it's oh, quarterback he's draw. Him. He's got a room up the middle, makes a cut to the right, and he's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Logan Laddish. A 15-yard run. That's a good play call, Coach. You called it at the other end last time. He's their leading rusher. Well, that was a good play call. Defense, um... Wasn't quite ready for that, and he makes a good cut right about the seven-yard line. Good read. <laughs> this is going to be a heavyweight fight, Coach. Yep. There's going to be going to be punches traded here. And this kick is up, and it is good. 4.21 to go in the first quarter. We're tied up 7-7. You're watching Comet Vision. We'll be right back. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. <laughs> 7-7. Seven to seven. Piper capitalizes on a Chanute mistake. The snap over the head of the punter gave Piper their first points of the game. Well, let's see what special teams does here for Chanute. See if they can re-establish a great starting, starting point. Maybe out between the 30 and 40 with the return or maybe return one. Seamster and Leedy back to receive. He's going to play hard for your approval. Ball falls off the tee. Again, the uh, stoppage of play results in a quietness that makes me uneasy, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my thoughts. Off and on. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> the electrical switches. And the football falls so off the tee again. You're going to have to have someone hold this one now. Will, the ref will make somebody hold it. So this will make one of their guys slower on the kickoff team. Seems the winner of this contest is Kai Reed. Sophomore Kai Reed is going to have to hold that football. So it won't go to the five. We're going to get to the ten. Don't kick my, don't kick his my fin finger, bro. either let it go too early or his pushing down will change the kicker. Here we go. The kick Boom. is up and away. It is a line drive kick. To it's going to get zone. into the end zone. He got more of it. Yep. Line drive kick. Schnute will start at the 20-yard line. We'll see what they do here. They've got another four minutes and 21 seconds of going into this wind. We've not seen them get adventurous as far as throwing the ball downfield, Coach. This wind is roaring out of the south. Well, be interesting. I bet you we don't try the middle of the line right now. We'll use that speed and get around the edge and yeah. start to break it up again and come back to that a little later. Yeah, they tested uh, on first down of the last drive. They tested up the middle. Piper was up to the task. So first and 10, they are, do going, they are going with the two running backs and Seamster behind them. That brings the linebackers up for Piper. It's the turn and pitch. Seamster's going to throw. Let's one go down the field. Dean's got it. 40, oh, 35, fight the ball. Oh, 25, 20, 15, 10, touchdown. Shadoo. He knocked, his, he knocked his hand off of him. He said, get off, I'm going. Caden Seamster to Dagan Dean Weaver. Dave, that was an outstanding pass for a running back, wide receiver, defensive linebacker, and now a 40-yard quarterback. 80-yard touchdown as Caden Seamster, the former quarterback, hits Dean in stride. 
and Chanute with a huge play to take the momentum back. Jackson Vaughn set the kick. The kick is up, and it is good. Into the wind. <laughs> Big play. There's your razzle There's dazzle. There's answer. <laughs> Look at this pass. Caden. Oh, Caden Seamster with a right dime. on it. I mean, a dime, Coach. We were just talking how Herb had landed yet last week those two passes right into the basket, and then Seamster comes out here and hits Dean right on the money. Asking poor Miguel Martin, five foot eight. Looking like he's about a buck fifty to bring down Dagan <laughs> Dean with a full head of steam is, boy, that's tough. That is tough. He has a big challenge ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, he does. And boy, they hit it. They hit that play, and Chanute leads 14 to 7. 408 to go. Well, we used 13 seconds, coach, on that drive. Maybe. The crowd is geeked. Ozzy's playing. I think we'll play a little bit of any razzle-dazzle on this special team instead of putting it up in the air to, for the wind to kick it to the 25? Well, I don't know. With that wind being like it is. It'd be nice to do an end I, over end. This I was shocked we, like, we didn't see a pooch the first time. This I, could be a pooch kick. We should pooch kick into the gap of the 30 there and uh, see what our team can do. I, I, I'm guessing that Pratt looks like they're pretty well coached what I've seen so far. So I'd imagine they're aware of Schnute's pooch. Is he going to hit the turf, though? Oh, it bounces to the running back who had trouble. Now he's looking to go forward, and he's not going to go anywhere. I swear to swarm him, seven guys on the tackle. And we'll see what Pratt can do with, or excuse me, Piper can do with a fuller field. Schnute leads 14 to 7. Cash Fitzmorris on the special teams tackle. First and 10 from their own 27 is where Piper will start this drive. Logan Laddish waits the snap. He's got it. Fakes. Now the end around to number eight. He's trying to find the outside. Breaks the tackle. Well, they had some people. That breaks another tackle. Now the foot race is on. It's up to number four. Jace Tarter. Well, a couple missed tackles by Chanute. That's not very. We haven't had that. So his wheels kept carrying us. We haven't had anybody run through three tackles. That was Colin Vigil on the run with some tough running. A senior. So Smith. Oh, and then two linebackers. And then Tater takes him down. Tarter. So far, Coach. He's an outstanding player for playing corner on the far side to make that. He didn't give up. Nope. First and ten. And Piper finds themselves on the Blue Comet half of the field. Here's Laddish. Straight up give to the running back who's up the middle. Spins and... Brought down, but not till he's gained about eight yards. So both teams um, heavy on the run so far. Their old line starting to get a little push on. They've got some beef on that line, Coach. Not a lot of depth, just like most 4A schools. All their all their size is on that line right now. Second down and four. Laddish awaits the snap. It is the turn, and it's given on that little fake and end around again, and this time another spin off the tackle. Well, Schnute tackling a little unsound on this on this uh, drive for Piper. They're pulling guards and have to guard and attack them. First down, Piper. Guard and tackle from the other side, get around. And it's a lot of meat to have to fight through to make a tackle. Laddish breaks the huddle. Terrell Anderson back in the game at running back for the Pirates. Smith needs to ride that hip when he get that guy pulls and try to catch that quarterback. Piper's changing up some play calling here, doing a good job of mixing it up. Now Laddish is running the option, waiting, 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 and taking his time. Very patient run. Strings it out for about four yards, maybe five. My correction's small. Sorry, I messed up on the D in there. Oh, it's a gain of five on first down. Piper moving the ball now. 
Just under 145 to go here in the first quarter. Schnu leads 14 to seven, but Piper driving. Piper on the Schnu, just outside the Schnu, 20 yard line. Tight formation, just one wide receiver. They've been tricky out of this though. Here is a fake on that little jet sweep. Lattice trying oh. to follow his blocks and gonna get stacked up just outside the 15 yard line. They're gonna give him some forward progress. Dagan Dean fought off his tackle. He held the end and fought off his tackle. And the running back cut just inside of him. He's got a big old boy he's fighting against. First down and 10 for the Pirates in the red zone. So Piper running the ball well. Shoot with no answer for it so far. It's a war out there. First and 10, they can get a first gotta down. Got to cause a fumble. We got to cause some turnover right here. Laddish waiting on the snap. Here is the fake, and no, they did give it to number 17. He's got a lot of room out there. He falls forward inside the five. Maybe he has another first down. Well, just a lot of space out there for the Piper runners. We're going to have to do some blitzing with our linebackers. We're sitting on their heels. Well, the little fakes are holding the defensive players just enough. Yep. They've, they've come at this. They're almost faking a handoff in some fashion before the real handoff almost on every play. And they're doing that to counter the, the speed of Schnute's defense. Oh, yeah. And it's working. They are just short of that first down. So it's second down and about half a yard just inside the five. Well, we brought our safety up, so we have another linebacker, and here it comes, reverse. There's that fake handoff again, and he's stacked up. No, he falls into the end zone. Touchdown, six-yard touchdown. Well, that looked like a nice hit. But Costin trying to turn him around at the line, but he fell into the end zone. Well, it's the same old story, Coach. Uh, Chanu will have to make an adjustment and read these, uh, these fakes. So touchdown Piper, they'll have the chance to tie it up just before the end of the first quarter here. Ooh, the snap was mishandled just a bit, but he got it up and the kick is up and good. We'll keep it right here. We're tied 14-14 so far, coach. It's a heavyweight bout. Haymaker and haymakers being exchanged here. It's like a Rocky movie. Both been hitting the jaw. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see who flinches first and Mistakes made by both teams have been capitalized on. But with six seconds to go here in the first quarter, man, this has been a wild first quarter, Coach. 28 points scored. It's, there was definitely some good defense both ways, and then there's been just two good offensive drive twice. Well, we told you. Well, they, we gave up one. Yeah, we, we told you at the outset that this was going to be an offensive battle. Piper has pretty good offensive numbers. And, and it's similar in styles, although what we're seeing here early is, is with this wind that both teams leaning on the ground game more. Now Schnee kind of capitalized off a run fake that Caden Seamster threw to Dagan Dean. But the safety bit all the way up because he was expecting to run. The only guy back there was the corner covering. So Piper plays to a 14-14 tie with the win. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the offensive style for Schnute when they get the ball here at the start of the second quarter. Last six seconds of the first quarter right now. Here is the kick. It is a long, deep kick, and it is taken right at the goal line. If your foot steps in the end zone, that's a high school take, thing. Yeah, okay. If you right. touch the end zone, you can't return it. So stick around. One more play here in the first quarter. So Schnute, it'll be interesting to see what they do coming out in the second quarter on offense because here in the first quarter, they've gone um, strictly with that two-back set, which they didn't do a whole lot of in the in the regular season. No, we've seen it a couple. And my guess is that was an answer to the win, and, and, and as if they heard me talking, the last play of the first quarter, they'll come out in what is more their base offense. <laughs> Herb with Leedy next to him trips to the near side. Here's the snap, Herb back to pass. It's a quick sling out to Dagan Dean, who's powering forward and 
gets a gain of about four, and that's where we will end the first quarter. They have some fast coming to the ball tackles on their defense. So After one, we're tied, 14-14. Stick around. It's a good one tonight. You're watching Comet Vision. KFEX 93.1 FM and Comet Vision are excited to partner with Dr. Grant Gastineau. Dr. Gastineau graduated from Chanute High School and is committed to supporting the activities of the youth of Chanute. Thank you, Dr. Gastineau. We appreciate your support. Cardinal Drug Store, located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute, is a small-town pharmacy and gift store, which includes an old-fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drug Store is your one-stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. Welcome back. We're getting ready to start the second quarter. Dave Rimbold here on Play by Play, joined by the coach, Chad Graham. He saw a slobber knocker in the first quarter. That's what they're called, slobber knockers. Yeah, I don't know what it means. I just heard someone say it once. Second down and six will be how we start the second quarter. We'll see what Schnute does with the win. Herb in the shotgun. Base formation for the Comets is a handoff to Leedy up the middle, carrying tackers across the first down line. Well, there's your up the middle coach. There's Tim Jones. Well, they spread them out that time. They didn't have those two backs. So what, what Piper was doing with those two backs is anytime we're in the two backs, the linebackers come charging up. They came charging up. Well, now those linebackers have to honor the fact that Schnoop might throw the ball, maybe more than might. It'd be interesting to see how good their corners are for our, well, we've seen them come against one, but, or what their safeties are. First down and 10. Because they run a 4-3 D just like us. Here come the linebackers up to the line of scrimmage again. Nice and it's a blitz. Herb's going to tuck and run and make it back to about the line of scrimmage. Well, Lady picked up a linebacker blitz. We just, the pocket collapsed. He hesitated just a moment. Before, when he made that decision, before he took off, and if he if he if he makes that a split second earlier when that when he saw that hole, he might have had something. But he gets it about a half a yard, second down and nine, better than a sack, coach. Schnoot breaks the huddle. Four wide receivers. Got a guy wide open. We could just throw the ball to him. Here is the give, and he's stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Well, they tried that right side, but nothing doing. So that safety played so far inside. I don't know why we wouldn't just have a fire call to Seamster if they do that again. That's 10 yards. I mean, by the time that safety gets out to Seamster, he's going to get 8 to 10 yards. Well, now that safety probably won't be charging up this time on third and long. Third down and nine. All of a sudden, a kind of a key play for Schnute's offense here as they put themselves in a little bit of a tense situation. Second quarter, tied 14-14. Trips to the near side. We'll see what he, Herb chooses to do with it. Here's the snap. He waggles to his left. He's got someone chasing him. Needs to get rid of it, and he's not going to. Piper makes the play. Man, I'd like to see the replay on this helmet. Mason LaRue. Six foot three senior linebacker came blitzing from the opposite side, and Herb never knew he was there. Fourth down, and Schnute brings out the punting unit. So Piper gonna get this football back. It looks like there might have been a miscommunication on plays, um, some frustration over there. So Ty Leedy, boy, it's. How much of a benefit is it to have Ty Leedy back there as your punter? Boy, a bad snap again. He has to take a weird step. It's an end over end punt. It's going to hit at the 40 and bounce right to the receiver for Piper. Oh, he the punter. Um, foot race to the left. And finally, Dillo and a host of other blue comets are going to wrap him up, but not till he's on the schnoot side of the field. Well, that was rough from the get go, and special teams has been a, a little dicey. So far for Chanute. I'm wondering if that's the same long snapper we've had or if something happened. 
because we've had every, and like you said, we haven't snapped, we haven't punt snapped a lot this season, but could be nerves. Well, it's another one of those uh, momentum moments. Like what happens here is going to be something that carries momentum. Will Piper be able to take their first lead of the game on this drive or will shoot defense, step up and make a stop? Here's Logan Laddish ready to get his offense going. Here is the fake and the quarterback draw and he's stacked up up the middle after a gain of two. Again, coach, it's a fake. There's always a fake. And then the run. Well, the quarter, quarterback keeps the ball a lot for their team. He's lead, he leads in passing, second in passing, and he's got 974 yards. Ty Leedy on the tackle. Second down and eight coming up. 8.20 to go here in the first half. We're deadlocked at 14. Laddish trips to the near side. First time we've seen them with the, this much of an open formation. Here's Laddish back to pass. It's a quarterback draw again, and he's hit. Not fooled was the Blue Comet defense. Nice, that's the way you swarm him. And Cade Small on that side was the first guy to, to see it. And Jack, it gets there, Ooh, fight high, through his block. Oh, it was Dagan Dean, excuse Dagan me, not Dagan Cade Small, and then Jack had finished it off. That's a loss of two on the play, so third and a long 10 for Piper. And this is, a, again, I hate to keep repeating it, but in a, in a game like this, huge play. No, for sure. It's huge play here in the first half, 7.30 to go in the half. Laddish, back to pass, he's looking. Down the field, got a man, it's caught. Oh, spin, missed tackle by the Blue Comets. It's gonna be a first down for the Pirates. That would have been right at them. It would have been close if you had tackled him right there. A nice run after the catch by number eight, Colin Vigil. <laughs> oh, just clock ticking. We'll go under seven minutes to go in the first half. Piper's drive continues. First and ten, so momentum won here by the Pirates. Again, more of an open formation here for the Pirates. Laddish throws one out to the run, uh, wide receiver on a little quick hitter and another missed tackle over there. The Blue Comets. Our strong safety was up to help. Well, so far, Coach, um, Piper's been doing a fine job on offense, but really, Schnute hurting themselves with a lot of missed tackles so far. Yeah, we haven't had this many missed tackles. Maybe a little too geeked up, a little too moving forward. Need to break down. Make sure you get a shoulder into it. Make sure you make the tackle and then run through it. Does bring, bring up second down and seven after a modest gain of three. We'll see what they do with it here. Laddish is going to keep it, and he's got a little hole and a good gain of about five yards. Bring up third and short. Start spying. Spy, just have your middle linebacker spy the quarterback. Well, we said all year what Schnute has done really well has trusted each other, stayed in their lanes on defense. That's being tested here tonight. A lot of fakes on all these handoffs. Third down and three. We'll bring up the free safety to play 4-4 D. Big play in the first half. Here's, boy, that looked like there was some early movement, and there is the flag. So that's going to be a big penalty. One of the first of the game. One of two. Second, second, yeah. Second, yeah. One two. second penalty of the game. Both of them have been on Piper and in pretty key situations. This is going to turn a third and three into a third and eight. And they're going to make some personnel changes because of it. I'd still watch that quarterback draw. Yeah, third and eight. Laddish is a good runner from the quarterback position. So definitely not ignoring the fact that he might just tuck this ball and run. Scored a touchdown on much this same setup. Third down and eight, Laddish, he's back to pass. He's waggling to his right, looking down the field and it's out of the grass. Oh, we got a flag Small was on coming. the field. Small was coming for the quarterback. He got rid of it just in time. This is going to be pass interference on Roy. Pointed to the offense. 
Oh, that was right at, he threw that flag right where the cut would have been made to the outside, and they're going to get him for a little push off here. Well, that's a big call. I don't, I'm not sure you take it. Do you take it, coach? Depends how good their field goal kicker is, I guess. Well, yeah, I don't know how far he can but kick it's against, it. But it's against the wind. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I wouldn't. I mean, you're, they're either kicking or going for it if you decline. Right. So I wouldn't take I wouldn't take it. That's what they're I'd trying to clear out. 10 because you're going to give them 20 and they can run. But we'll Tate, see. Tate we'll has see. what he does and knows what his plan is. So Cleet Frizzell gets to make the decision. It is pass interference, and he is backing He's them backing up. backing them up for the 20. For so they'll be up third and 19. We'll see how this plays out. I really, this is 50-50. I can't really find fault with either way. I agree. I could talk myself into finding fault either way. <laughs> but I am also not a football coach. Well, he's thinking of yardage. He's hoping to get a stop right here and get it maybe not. This has been, this may be the first play of the game where you could really let your pass rushers pin their ears back. Bring we'll it. see what Dean does here. Now we got a whistle again. It's going to be a timeout on the field. We're waiting for the uh, official call of that. Boy, taking his time. Timeout Piper. We'll take it with him. You're watching Comet Vision 14-14. Come on back for a big play. From kickoff to the final lap, from Pee Wees to the weekend pros, our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports-related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to labettehealth.com. Big play upcoming here. Third down and 24. Is that right? Yeah, I suppose it is. Third and 24. It's a huge play for the defense. Let's keep an eye on Dagan Dean on the far side of that defensive line. This is a situation where we get to call his name a lot. Laddish awaits the snap. He hits back to pass. Here comes the rush. It's a setup with a screen, but not completed. He had to rush it. He had to. He had to be deep or small. They well, were bringing them. They had their ears back. They weren't. They reading, saw. They weren't reading anything. They saw last week's tape yeah. where Schlegel had a good play on that kind of situation, but that time he rushed that throw, and it was just he just didn't have enough time. Boy, were they coming, Coach! Fourth down in a long way. We will most assuredly see a punt now into this wind. Although That's Laddish is out there. Call but was. It's for field position on the pump. Laddish is out there. We'll see if he takes those steps back for the pooch. Surely they can. Oh, man. He's not. They're going to go for it. He's going to put one up down the field. He lets one go. Here is this. Oh, he's got a man open. And just at the last. Oh, it's caught. Caught. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. The defender was there. He just couldn't locate the ball. And a 44 yard touchdown for Piper to take the lead. Ooh. Fourth and 24. We're in cover four. We got to be in cover four. Well, the safety was late, but that ball hung up in the air, and the safety was able to get there. He just he couldn't guy, get a hand on it. fought for it. He saw it coming the whole time, and the safety turned and found it because he was coming across the field. Extra point up. Boy, it's a high one, and it is good. Piper takes the lead with 5.08 to go in the half. 21-14, you're watching Comet Vision. We'll be right back. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people -people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDIC. Five oh eight to go. 
in the first half. Schnute has just absorbed a haymaker. We'll see what their answer is. They trail 21 to 14 on what is was kind of a, just a prayer. Fourth and 24, they figured, well, we'll just throw one up. If they, it gets intercepted, it's just like a punt. It was. That's exactly what the coach called that for. He's like, why not? And the coverage was there. He just couldn't locate the football in time. The receiver was able to adjust to it and make a pretty difficult catch, coach. That court, he made a great catch. That quarterback had nothing to lose because if it was an interception on the two. So Piper with a prayer answered. And they lead it 21-14. Here is a pooch kick, a fair catch called for by Harding, and that's where he'll have it. He went to lost his, unlike Siri, play, he lost his balance, maybe. So they'll get the ball at the 31-yard line with five minutes to work with, 5.08 to be exact. He lost his balance is what he was telling the ref. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he kind of he looked went, like, like he was running, yeah. 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 Yeah, they, they didn't throw a flag, though. No, they didn't. Just, he ran it and called it. And that is a, a penalty if you call for the fair catch and, and then you take off yeah. with the football. So here we I go. mean, I'm not sure why. Is that like a delay of game? Well, you can't get nothing, but you're just antagonizing the other team. Back to the they, two running back set. It. We'll see what Chanute does trailing here. Back to pass. It's caught. What, what a good adjustment and catch by Leedy. Leedy. Boy, that, was, that pass was just a little bit errant for Herb, and Ty Leedy makes a great adjustment Comes and gets them to. first down yardage. How valuable is Ty Leedy? First of all, you're not going to see Herb miss usually like that. No. Ty Leedy is definitely a, There's five assets. The other 22 are amazing. First down and 10, now out to the 43-yard line. Ty Leedy said whether he wants to play football or wrestle. I have not heard that, Coach. He can do whatever he wants. I understand. Herb back to pass. Looking down the field. He throws it up. Good coverage over there. Air mailed everybody, but Schnoot looking to, to looking to take some chances. And why not? Herb's or excuse me, Dean's got a huge height advantage over there. That ball was just got caught up in the jet stream. Yeah. Or rather 40. So second down and 10. This is where you got to be a little careful, Coach. Quarterback draw here. If you just want yardage. You don't want to end up in third and nine like they did in that last drive. Get what you can. Take a small bite so you don't have to get all 10 at once. You get you get to third and four, third and five. That's almost four down territory. You got, yeah. Trips to the far side. We'll see what they choose to do. Herb's got the snap. He's back to pass. It is a quarterback draw. He was looking to do it the whole way. He's got some room and lowers his shoulder. And again, the follow through on that tackle happens five yards out of bounds. This time, no flag is thrown, but it was not he obvious, but it's borderline. Right. He hit him in bounds, but definitely drove him. It's just him. The, the little extra th throw down at the right, end. Right. I mean, yeah. that's a close one, coach. Third down and five. This is exactly what we were talking about, though. It, Brings up a maybe a two a two down situation here where you might go for it on fourth. I don't know that we won't see another run here. That replay, that was just a good tackle. It looked like he was throwing in, but that was his body weight rolling. Trips to the far side. Herb's got the snap. It's a bad snap. He has to go down and get it. Makes an escape a move. Now he lets go down the field. Seamster. Oh, he just couldn't hold oh, on. On his fingertips. What a good play. Good try. Great defensive play by Taiwan Griffin. Seems to a way to keep coming across, way to keep looking upfield by Herb. Fourth down. We'll see what Schnute chooses to do with it here. They're sending Herb back out onto the field. It's a huge, huge play. 439 to go here in the first half. Schnute trails by a touchdown. It's fourth and six. Do we see a false cadence here? Schnute draws people off sides a lot. Here's the man in motion. Piper showing blitz. Now Herb's going to take that couple steps back. He's got a, boy, another rough snap. Herb gets it away for the punt. This is going to drop, take a schnoot roll. It needs to hold up a little bit. And oh, no, he's in the end zone when he touches it. That's going to be a touchback, I believe. I don't know the rules. Can he do that? He called it right outside. He touched it. I, if he slid in, he, he's going to call it. Let's see. The head head referee is down there. Anytime your body goes over the line, 
Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. You can't have momentum. Now, what he's asking him is when he slides into the end zone, does he touch it? It's hard for us to see that's that up here. Say. If he didn't hit it after he touched it to deaden it, he's all right. But did he hit it back out? Because it looked like he took a swipe at it while he was laying in the end zone. That's what it, yeah, it looked but like. But we can't, I mean, obviously we can't see that far to see definitively. Let's see what the white hat says. Well, he's not going to say gonna anything. Stay there. Well, they're saying he, he downed it. it. He didn't touch it. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. He touches it he laying in the end zone. Well, well, we'll take that call. Well, I would like to hear the explanation on that. I mean, is, I, there's not a difference between the high school rules and the ball was dead. When maybe this I'm only is the ball got, dead the first the time ball, he touches as it. As soon as it touches it, the ball became dead. But okay. I don't. I thought he doesn't have to control it. He no, just has no, to touch it. No, you don't it. have to control it. Okay. As soon as it touches you, All it's right. a dead ball. Huge play backed up in their own end zone. Piper, that was Lattice game. trying to draw him off sides, and now we got a false start as their running back moves. That was a great call by the officials. I'm just wanting to say that after we broke it down in slow-mo. It's going to be a penalty of about half an inch because <laughs> there's no room. What's half of a half? <laughs> we send them all right up their nose right now, and you get a safety. We'll see what they do. I mean, cover one, glue on glue with your tight end, and they're not putting this ball in the air. No, it's there's a not a chance. Sneaks, so yeah, you get your linebackers in there. Like they're they're going against strong wind. You're deep, deep, about as deep as you get can be there. in your territory. We'll see what they choose to do. Come on, Harding. Come on, Lady. Oh, Harding's backing out. Laddish in the shotgun. Nope. Now he scoots up under center. He's to long count again, again, trying to draw him off. Now he's back to pass. Quick. Look, he throws one up. This ball's hanging in the air. And, oh, my goodness, the receiver had a step. He just couldn't get there. That ball just hung up there. Coach is trying to get out of the end zone. Well, gutsy call by Piper, but they there's no shortage of gutsy calls. No. They made a couple of them. <laughs> they're, they're coming here to win. Come on, D. Send it. Second down from the half yard line. This would be a set turning point too if we could get him in the end zone. <laughs> the, we're getting corrected the eighth yard line. <laughs> I trust her eyes, I trust her eyes. I mean, it's as close as it can be to without the end zone line without being a safety. We gotta come for him. Laddish. Boy, it looked like there was all kinds of movement. Again, running back just gets out of the end zone before he's stacked up. Oh, uh, they're giving him the game. It's the ball stays at the same spot. Yeah, well, actually, he might have got half a yard, Coach. All right. They're, they're, he's got his foot right he on the one-yard on line. <laughs> and third down upcoming, and I don't know if they – that's not enough room for them to really do much of anything but run, although they did put it up on first down. But, boy, you're taking a big risk. Here comes a trickery. They went in a – It is a timeout. Come on, D, Coach. Bring the house. Trust your corners. We'll keep it right here. So, Coach. Um, we, have some, we have some elite corners. We have elite safeties. There's no reason we can't bring that inside. Oh, are you gun shy after they hit that big pass, though? I mean, look, 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 let's be honest with the secondary so far tonight. Their receivers have had a step on, on a couple of our guys. This is, this is probably the stiffest test for our secondary this year. So, I, are you a little gun shy about sending that blitz, leaving them one-on-one -on -one out there? Not, I don't know what their coverage was when we were burned. I don't know if we were playing. You're in like Kenny Rogers, man. I you're like, you're like, no when to hold them. <laughs> no, you're like, you gotta, send the house. You got to bring it. Send, I'm, I'm all sorry, in. I'm coming for the safety. <laughs> and then we get the ball back again. I'm sitting That's over here why. like, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on the eight, I, hopefully for zone. I'm. I'm telling you what, I'm checking right now well, to use a poker term, to use the, to go with the, so yeah, I'm checking. I'm just in, like, okay, just let's, let's just, I'm let's just sit the back and we'll see what, we'll see what Frizzell, Coach Frizzell chooses <laughs> to do here. Laddish in the gun from the one yard line on third down. He's going for that fake. It's a snap, the give. No, he keeps it. He's, wow, just gets nice. out of the end zone. There was it's close. No, no, uh, I think he stuck that football him. out. I thought he initially got out to the one. Boy, the Blue Comets wanted it, but this is it gets no less dicey to punt from here. 
Oh, what a good call. That was just great Chinook defense. It don't matter. We didn't send. They just stood them up. Well, this is this is huge. This is a no-win situation. Even if you get a punt off into this win. Right. We get, we're going to get the ball at the 40. I mean, this is going to be amazing field position for the Blue Comets, and that's if nothing goes wrong on this punt. The punter with his heels. He could step out of bounds, be a safety. Needs to be a good snap. It is a decent snap. He's got the kick away. It's an end over in line drive. Takes the Chinook bounce. Leedy's going to feel it. He's got a head of steam. 20, outside 15, and run out of bounds. That's where the Blue Comets will get the ball in the red zone. First and 10 for the Blue Comets in the red zone. With 3.15 to go here in the first half, it's been a whirlwind of the last few minutes. That was a great defense stance after getting scored on the long play, trickery, fourth and 24. Well, we talked about how that was a no-win situation on that punt. He gets it away, but it's a short line drive punt, takes a perfect hop, although not perfect. Leedy makes a great move Come on that on football. It. Run up on it, yep. As he does. They send the two running backs set out there, Quinton Harding with Ty Leedy. So they've got double weapons out there beside Herb. Here's the give to Leedy. Leedy picking his way, and boy, he just had to hesitate enough where the Piper defense was able to Linebacker got his shoulder pad on his thigh and slowed down one of the wheels. Second down and 10. Well, you don't see that very often, but that play looked strange. Looks like it was uh, maybe not the cleanest handoff. It's like we have a slick ball. There's no rain on the Second down and 10. Defense showing blitz again. Back to the pass now. Harding's got it up the right side. Touchdown! Quentin Harding. Boy, like a cannonball through Swiss cheese. Cross buck the other way. 16 yard straight run by the sophomore, number 34, Quentin Harding. And Snoop can tie it up. He covers it up and says, You ain't taking it. Beautiful when you see him come oh, out man. of the line with the both arms on it. An embarrassment of riches at running back for the Blue Comets. Here's a very important extra point. It is up and it is good. Jackson Vaughn ties it up. 21, 21, 230. There's still two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. We'll be right back. You're watching Comet Vision. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chinook, is in the business of making you feel better, faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the Medicine Shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chinook Blue Commons. Coach, I need some water. I'm, not, I'm just I'm messing with you. Uh, I do need some water, but we'll have to wait for another two and a half minutes. What a whirlwind the last five minutes we've had here that resulted in Piper taking the lead and what seemed to be the momentum, but Shnu's defense comes up with a special teams first, down the ball in the one, then a great defensive series for the Blue Comets. Here. Sets up the offense for an easy score. And it's 21 to 21. Haymaker after Haymaker being thrown. Vaughn short kick to the 20. It's a little handoff. No, it's a Captain fake handoff fake. to the right. And it fooled the Chanute special teams. Huge hole and almost out to the 50. So another. It's this, it's this reverse play. We're so fast. They're playing against our speed. Yeah, almost everything Piper has done has involved some sort of fake. And they're basically saying, you're faster than us. Yep. But we're going to make you Trickery. we're going to make you decide where the football is, and it's worked. So two twenty one looks a like a lot longer time for half the football field. That's where Piper takes over this drive. So two twenty four, we got to make a defensive stance like we just made on the one yard line at the fifty. More room to operate here for the Pirates. Laddish waits the snap. It is the fake, and then the give on the little end around and. What looked like momentary room, he breaks the tackle. How in the world we had three. Quentin Harding has to wrap him up and bring him down, but number four, Freddie Eskridge with tough running and a first down 
for Piper after it looked like he was going to get stopped for no game. Definitely just at the line. There's one, two. That was oh, Dillo, man. and he always closes a deal. Well, it looked like Eskridge's forward progress had stopped. Right. And he just he just pushed Dillo to the ground after being thrown back for a yard, and the play continued. Harding closed that off. Here we go. First down and 10. Trips to the near side. Cornerback up and bump on a run coverage there. What looks like one-on-one -on -one coverage. Lattice yeah, isn't going to look that way anyway. He's comes, yeah. following a blocker, and he's tripped up. By the line monster. Good thing he slid down because it would have been nice little Dean action on him. <laughs> Gain of about one. Like drilling him into the turf. So second down and nine upcoming. The clock ticking. We're under 120 to go here on this play. For those of you fans out there that are like Coach and not like Dave. <laughs> this is huge, huge thing here. Piper deferred. And we'll get the football to start the second half. Here is the give on the jet sweep. It's a reverse. Number eight. Oh, there was a block in the back there. Not called. called. No, it, it is yes, called. called it. There's yes. the flag. And this one's coming back. And they didn't get it. So what do you do here? Well, right, it's third it's down. No matter what, it's third it's down, coach. It's coming back. They're going to move him back. We're under a minute to go now. But that is a big penalty. It's number 70. Holds up his hands. He's but holding his hands like he didn't do nothing. Like, well, he, you see what he did, coach. He was his momentum was pushing the guy, but he had his hands up in the air like I, like I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but Dean was in a great position to make that tackle. <laughs> so that one's gonna send them way back because that's gonna be what five yards behind the line of scrimmage where that holding happens. So or is it a block in the back? 20, Excuse me. Fifteen yards. Yeah, it's ten yards from the spot. Oh, no, there it is. It's 10 yards from, from the, the line of the scrimmage. Oh, no. So it's second down and 19. Is that right? I'm not going to say the rule. Well, I'd still, have to get my rule books out here for Kansas. Second down and a long ways. Laddish in the gun. He's back to pass. And now we got another illegal procedure, what it looks like. And Piper going the wrong direction. Yeah, they're wanting to score before they have. And... Or Man, they had a great set setup to do so. And they are shooting themselves in the foot. So add five more yards to this. It'll bring up second and 24. So penalties decide a lot of games. Well, now you're in a position where you get the ball coming out in the second half. I don't know if I put this ball in the air if I'm Piper. You don't want anything else to go wrong here. You don't want to give up this ball. You don't want to have another uh, interception added to ours. Yeah, this is a dangerous place for Piper. I would expect to see a run right here. Some trickery, I bet. He's not scared to launch it. Yeah, it's not, not going to be a straight run. They're going to fake it and then run. Right, draw. Here is the jet sweep. No, he's back to pass. He's looking down the field. He lets one go. It hangs up in the air again. Oh, That's, this is going to be a flag. How about an offensive pass, pass interference? Pass interference is going to be the call. And that's he was a huge call. He was going for the ball. That has to be an offensive pass interference. And Coach Frizzell is trying to make his case over there. He was going for the pick. You have the right to the ball. Well, it's an interesting call. Let's look at the replay here. See if he's going for the ball. Uh, no, he's facing him. It's, yeah, it's, it's all about it's, where his helmet is looking. Now, he's trying to turn around to look for the ball, but just can't. It looked from our point he was turned around, but he's face to face with him. That's a path. The officials are discussing this, however. This is a long discussion. Also, a discussion of whether it would have been catchable. And here comes the white hat. This is going to involve some discussion with Coach Frizzell. Oh. We had a flag on the line. Oh, it's offsetting. Okay, I didn't see that penalty. There is a penalty in the offensive backfield. So it looks like Coach. we're going to have offsetting penalties. Let's see what the call is. <laughs> His mic, mic's not working tonight. It is a block in the back, it appears. Pass interference on Chanute. So it is offsetting. And we will replay the down. Well, the crowd doesn't like it. I think, I think it's the right call, Coach. It is, after seeing it in slow play. Oh, we've got an unsportsmanlike conduct. 
after the play. Well, well, that one takes uh, him back. <laughs> so the Piper mistake parade continues here on this drive, and boy, they've just really. Oh no! Was that a was that a flag being this, thrown back to an official, or yeah. did they just throw another flag? It was getting thrown back. To okay. Was, All right. I was like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> another yet? <laughs> well. Well, there you go. The pressure starts to boil underneath the helmet of, of Piper. Well, I just, I'm, yeah, I'm really beside myself with uh, the, how this situation's changed for Piper. Yep. Ball in Chanute territory. They get the ball to start the second half. I mean, now man, what a situation they had. They're on their own 30. And now it's third in Arby's. <laughs> and here is a wraparound draw which you don't see many of those. Oh, what a play by Dagan Dean. Oh my goodness. Dagan Dean, do you use timeouts here, coach? The answer is yes. Timeout, Chanute. They want this football back. Third down upcoming in just a long way as well. The pressure to score was just too much. They, 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 they folded in excitement to try to score to put the go in at half. Look, look the scoreboard doesn't even have a to go. Oh, it just came up. They were adding. We had guy. We had accountants on the adding machines. Yeah, they were <laughs> they were trying to figure out how far that is. <laughs> Third and thirty-five is the result. Um, looks like you know my taxes. Uh, <laughs> Third, third and 35 with 41 seconds to go. I would imagine you run the ball here and make sure you burn another timeout, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. There's no way you put no. this ball in the air. But we've seen sillier things. They did uh, on a fourth and long. That's what Just I'm threw saying. one up for grabs and but that was worked good, out that for That was him. a good call. Your fourth down. Yeah, I, I was afraid of that. As a, just what do you got to lose? I'm not a football coach, but the smart call is you run it here. Well, you, I agree. Maybe something, like maybe something good happens. The well, shoot no, defense is going to be shoot defense is going to be back in a dime. I mean, you just run a draw play, hope something good happens, and then make them burn a timeout yeah, if it doesn't. Sure. Yeah. They'd be silly if they don't. I'd watch this quarterback draw. Laddish can run well. He is the quarterback. Boy, it's a little quick toss to the running back out there. Number eight. He's got a full head of steam and some room, but he's forced out of bounds, which will stop the clock. Schnute gets to hold on to a timeout, coach. That's a nice. Boy, I can't, I can't imagine that's what Piper wanted. It looked like he was going to fake a pass, but. 37 seconds here, oh, he and adjusting the ball. again, Piper will be punting into that wind. You've got Seamster back now. Now Ty Leedy will drop back. Seamster I mean, was going for that ball when he went for the tackle. He was going. He was trying to rip for a fumble. Well, Schnuck gets any kind of good return here. This will be put them in business. Here's the snap. The kick is away. It's a short line drive and heading for the sideline. And boy, that's about as good as Piper could have hoped for. It was going to bring up first and ten inside the twenty-five oh, yard line for Schnuck, or inside the twenty, with thirty-one seconds to go. Well, Chanute has the wind. I was just going to ask you, do you take a chance? You're a defensive guy. What are you doing with the defense here if you're Piper? Well, you are definitely got to play cover four. Your safeties are you back. you got to play cover four. got to bring corners back, safeties back. I mean, you got two you timeouts. The middle of the field is going to be open. Back. Exactly. Two plays. you got two timeouts. I'm calling a crossing pattern to Caden Seamster. Okay. Right in the middle of the football field, maybe 15 yards deep. We'll see if I'm... Dagan See Dean, if I know what I'm Dagan talking about. Dean on the out. Herb in the gun. Four wide receivers. We'll both be wrong and it'll be. Herb back Carter. to pass. It's a quarterback draw. He's got room following blockers. Oh, he didn't follow him enough. <laughs> that linebacker put his chin. Schnute calls a timeout. Well, it was a good Get catch him sleeping, catch him sitting back too far. Expecting you to go for it. 24 seconds now on the clock, 26 yard line. Well, now things change a little bit. That safety's worked up. Well, that was a good defensive play. Good play. I mean, right. for I mean, if you if you stop that play, you freeze frame it, where Herb's got two blockers and lots of room. It's looking like well, it looked good at that yeah. point, and their defense made a great play. Herb, he got maybe off the again block. just a little too excited, outrun his blockers. That blocker got off and popped <laughs> Herb right in the chin. Yeah, if he waits <laughs> again, we're talking. Boy, we're, t we're dealing in half seconds tonight, Coach. It's 
another one of those situations. So now a different little setup here for the Blue Comets. 24 seconds and one timeout. And we'll see what they choose to do with it here. Nothing that's going to risk getting scored on, I guarantee Well, and, you know, they're in the same situation Piper is now. Now it seems like a long shot to get down the field. Maybe you're not taking any chances knowing that Piper gets the ball coming out of the half. They're bringing the safety. Her back to pass. Looks, looks, look. Little crossing pattern to Seamster. Stiff arm and boy, what a oh, nice man. open field tackle. You called it. Huge open field tackle by number 13, Tanner McDaniel, who, my goodness, had the to first, do they everything. They the clocks because we're moving the first downs. First and 10. Now they didn't even get the chains moved. Well, the chain gang just kind of stopped over there. The clock and has to stop for the chain gang to move. That was an, I've never seen that. Start before the chains are set. That's the rest the official's fault right over there. Well, the, the chain guys just kind of gave up. They just kind of stopped back there. It was like first and goal. They should. Oh, he's going to go talk to the white hat. They're going to call up to us. They're discussing whether we. I believe there was nope. some seconds. They're not going to add them. No. Nope. They're just they going to go. Oh, and then they, and they wind the clock. Well, the first, it's a first down. The clock stops. Here's a deep pass to Dean, and it's overthrown everybody again. Well, Herb with the wind overthrows everybody. I got a question for you. The specimen Dean is, you think he's a little tired, more a little more worn out at this point of the game than previous games, Dave? Well, certainly on a play-to-play -play basis, he's getting his toughest test of the year. Yeah, so he's putting out a hundred, I mean. And then you've thrown a few deep passes to him tonight. Sending him long. I mean, eight seconds left here. We'll see what they choose to do with it. And he got an 80-yard touchdown. I mean, we can... I'm going to sit here and tell you the Piper defense has played great, but still, it's 21-21. Yeah. I mean, this all lines up for Chanute. Five seconds. We do it on the sex play? Well, that's interesting. They said not enough time went off the clock. How do they figure? Okay. I don't think they reset the time. I think they should have done it on the last play. Right, I last think, play. I, I don't think the understand time, what that yeah. was. Anyways, this will probably be the last play of the half. Herb got the snap. He's looking, looking. Now has to avoid the rush. Now steps back, lets one go up in the air. It's just a launch. and Oh, a little shove by the defender. Now he's pushing his own players. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was smart at 13. He took his player and got him out of there. Seven, Dillo should have got Steamster out of there. Well, number eight, uh, Colin Vigil, was excited enough to take on his own team. Well, he gives a little extra shove there at the end, and then Caden Seamster gives him a little, I mean, a little courtesy shove. That yeah, was that was, that was hardly saying, anything. Yeah, uh, he could have pushed him on the ground. And it is halftime. Courtesy shove. I said it was a courtesy shove. 21-21 at the half. Get ready for some Chanute Blue Comet marching band and dance team. We'll be back in just a little while to break it all down for you. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Home Savings Bank is a platinum underwriter here at the Fire Escape Confidence. Home Savings Bank has been serving the Chanute area since 1886. Customer owned and customer driven, Home Savings Bank, located at 214 North Lincoln Avenue in Chanute, Kansas, is here to serve all your banking needs. Whether your needs are checking, savings account, safety deposit box, lending, or online banking, Home Savings Bank is here to help. Home Savings Bank is located on the internet at homesavingschanute.com. Home Savings Bank is committed to the youth of Southeast Kansas and helps in the ministries at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Good evening, you good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chanute High School Blue Pride Marching Band Halftime Performance. Tonight's performance will be something new. Blue Pride will be playing the Rolling Stones hit Paint Black and Apache from the Sugar Hill Gang. 
We're going to invite you to feel free to get up and bring you down. Drill majors, is your band ready?
Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment, another moment you've been waiting for. Comet, kick for cash. Firefighter, former Blue Comet, Camo Beach. Kaboom! Sails it through the upright. I believe our next kicker is Matt Pfeiffer. Not from KC, right? There we go, Matt. Get behind him, Blue Comet fans. Kaboom! Just wide left. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Legs Peach moves it back to the 10-yard line. Studies, concentrates, focuses, and kaboom! All the way to Humboldt. Was he wide left? What was he, coach? Yeah, behind Matt, I think this is going through. Kablam! Well, that's okay. What a great effort. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. For the Community National Buy and Bank, Kent for Cash. Camo Deach takes a $50 bill home from Dan Milfelt. And Matt Piper gets him a $25 bill. Thank you, men for the halftime entertainment at Community National Bank for the Blue Comet Kick for Cash. Welcome back. We are getting ready for second half playoff football. Tied 21-21 with your number one seed, Chanute Blue Comets, the 6-3 Piper Pirates. It's been a, been a haymaker after haymaker first half, Coach. Um, from the Piper end of it, you, you got to give the coaching staff credit. Great game plan so far. For sure. They weren't afraid. They weren't what they have to lose. When you lose, you go home. So they were sitting on it. Yeah. I, it's been an outright test. Yeah. 
they've well, the game plan has been wonderful for Piper. Um, using Chanute's team defense speed against them, lots of fakes, never just a hard. I don't think I, I don't think they ran just a straight handoff, did they? No. Nope. I mean, it was always a fake and then a handoff of some sort. So Piper um, made some mistakes. He shot themselves in the foot a few times, but game plan wise, maybe a perfect half. Now let's talk about the Schnute side of things, which we're a little bit more adept at talking about because that's who we watched all year. As far as Schnute football halves go, that was not the best. No. That was that was not a great half of football for Schnute, but they look up at the scoreboard and it's 21-21. So what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means something. Coach said clean up the game in the locker room, finish your tackles because we were on them. I will say this. Piper came out with um, a lot of vigor and steam and, and just looked lively. This is about as tentative as I've seen Chanute in a half for maybe since the beginning of the season. For sure. So we'll see um, if whatever said in the locker room is going to change the outlook a little bit because I think Chanute played a little tentative and maybe play called a little tentative other than the one trick play where they Seamster. end around to Seamster and let him put up the ball and throw it. So, so they're coming out a little more pumped up. They're asking the crowd to get pumped up. And I think Piper's over there not as pumped up. When they crawled under our field, Dave, up here, it bothered me. Yeah, well, it's I, hey, you back it up on the field, you, you got, got no problem. Right. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Hey, you you wow, that was maybe the largest t-shirt cannon shot I've ever seen. <laughs> that one almost got up to in us here window. in the press box, yeah. yeah. Well, Piper will get the ball to start the second half, and it's much the same way we started the game. Who is going to make the early big plays, get momentum in their favor, because now it becomes twice as important. It was important to start the game just to set a tone. Now it's important because... It's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's, it's the start of a new game. Yeah, right you're here. down to 24 minutes to play to, for the right to go on to the quarterfinals. It's win or go home, and here we are. Can I just throw a special thanks out to the high school TV crew again? Because all those fans at home are sitting on the edge of their seat watching a game for the first time this season, 21-21, something close coming out of half. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing second half to be sure. Chanute will kick it off, as we said. Piper will start off with the ball here in the second half. He usually landed it at the 10. He's been kicking it a little short, even though we had it in the second quarter. be interesting to see... Well, with the wind, well, might might try to put it up there as high as he can. That, the first kick we did, it was in the 25. It was shorter than what he'd been averaging. We're ready for second half playoff football. It's a brand new ball game, 21-21. The next 24 minutes will decide it. Here is a, boy, a line drive kick. Oh, hits the receiver. He picks it up at the 16. Now runs up the field with it. Whoa, mighty collision at the 31 yard line. And that's where 32 yard line or so is where Small. Piper will start off with it. Collision there. Again, there was some tentativeness on the part of Chanute there. I don't like seeing that. That is not like how they've played most of the season. But it's been a while since they've been locked in a dogfight, Coach. Right, now we got 24 more minutes of them. We'll see who sets the tone here on the first drive of the second half. Laddish brings his offense out. Tight formation. Here is the snap. It's the same setup as before. A little end around to number four, who this time cannot break the tackle. Gains a yard. You see how that quarterback followed with him, so act like you don't know who to tackle and still. Quentin Harding on the tackle. Sophomore safety with the great tackle there. And he is playing up on the line, almost like a linebacker coach. He starts off back, but he comes up quick. He's got, uh, he's tied in. Second down and eight, we'll call it. Lattice the snap and the fake, and now the quarterback draw. He's got a big hole to the right side, and 
a good gain of about six yards. Harding's got 78 tackles on the season, 28 solo tackles. Sorry, I was looking for that hat. He's gonna add another one there. He's got the first two tackles in the second half, brings up third and short. Third down and short, and again, Piper keeping him guessing with the running game. Also, a lot of substitutions. Pretty deep in their wide receiver core, and they're cycling them in and out. Keeping them fresh. Maybe a little bit deeper team than what Chanute has. Tight formation again on third and two. We'll see what trickery awaits. I don't believe they're going to take it to the air. Laddish, it's the same setup again. It's quarterback keeper. Big hole up the middle. First down, Pirates. Schnute still at a loss for how to best contain this running attack of the Pirates. Uh, I'm for the, I'm for bringing Harding up. Unless they spread us out into a five type. You bring Harding up to a four four and try to stop the run up the middle. Yeah, there's some move you'd think have to be made, but then we'll wait for uh, the counter move. To fix As it. The coaching staffs are kind of going at it in yeah. a chess battle here. Oh, they always are. And Harding is creeping up to the line. Here's the give on that end around, number 24, and he makes a great cut up the field. It's going to get about eight or nine oh, yards, and the ball right came out. Hand, the ball came out, and Sanute has it. Oh, my goodness. Well, 24, that might have been his first carry of the game. The referees are talking about it. That's a turnover. It's clear as day, Let's but look they and don't see have what replay. it says on the replay. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for us to see on the replay, but it doesn't matter what we saw. The refs say it's a fumble, and Schnoot is going to have it. And there, there's that tone-setting play, Coach. Was that the turf? I don't know. It's hard to see. I mean, we're you know we're videoing that from across the field. Um, we can't go multi-angles like the right. like the professionals do. But we got about as good as replay as you're going to get in high school football, and it was just tough to tell. Yep. 24 had his, I think that was his first carry of the game, Miguel Martin. And he puts it on the turf. First and 10, Blue Comets. Herb with a quick sidearm pass is going to be as good as a run. A gain of five or six yards. Well, he broke one tackle and he spun, spun off. But Dagan Dean has been something of a workhorse. Dean is such a physical specimen at six foot four, 210 pounds. He dragged a couple tacklers to second and a long, long four. He'll be definitely tired tonight. Two running back set for the Blue Comets. They've used this formation more tonight than they have all season. Linebackers again showing blitz, and we've got movement. Dello, the false start. Is a illegal procedure, and that changes things a bit. That was clearly going to be a run for Chanute, and now we may see them put the ball in the air. Just a little excited to get out there. Well, 100%. Both teams probably jittery coming out of that locker room when you're looking at a second half, uh, 24 minutes of deadlocked. It's going to all come down to this, and both teams have made some mistakes coming out of the locker room here. It's going to be who settles down first. To take control of the rest of this game. So second down and nine. We'll see if what Chanute chooses to do. Now Leedy goes in motion and parks himself up on the line. Now a designed run to Herb who runs it out to his left and takes what he can get. Good for a gain of two or three. Have to give it to Piper, man. They always have three to four guys on the tackle. They're playing just like Schnutz D. Third down and seven. Piper's defense has done a pretty good job tonight. I think their core crews are linebackers, outside middle linebackers. They just haven't been able to avoid the big play. They've contained Schnutz right. on quite a few plays, but the big play has still been there for the Blue Comets. We'll see what they can do here on third and seven. Number six, Tanner Reed comes into the game here as Harding comes out and trips to the far side. Five on the play clock, and here comes 
Piper showing blitz again. Herb waggles out to his right. He's going to have to let one go. He does. It's caught by Seamster, who turns it up the field. Makes the man miss. Oh, they say they he stepped he, out of bounds. Oh, he was seeming it. He was going up the sideline. Well, Seamster with a great catch, and that's an unbelievable throw. Herb moving out to his right on the money to Caden Seamster. And boy, if he doesn't step out of bounds, that's six, coach. Yeah, he, he zippered him. He was seeming it. The result of the play is first down and 10, and Schnute in business on the Pirate into the field now. That's a safe play. They play, he comes all the way across, takes the time. Well, so often Dean and Seamster both, when they run those little out plays, it seems like they're just open every time. Here's to give the leady, and leady is stacked up. Well, Piper oh. is just selling out on the middle. They're selling out on the middle, coach, and... They are not going to get beat that way, and they're begging Chanute to do anything to the outside. Well, our pullers took on their D, but then the backside closed that on the back. So second down and 11 after the loss of one. And they're almost, they're almost daring us to throw. We'll right. just see how that works. Right. On the, in this quarter, when we've got the wind... I don't think they're going to be hesitant. We'll see what Herb does with it here. Seamster in motion. It's the give on the jet sweep. Seamster turns it up the field, breaks a tackle and spins, maybe gets a few. But a pretty good defensive round there for Piper. I don't know if you, with the speed of what those linebackers have been doing, you've got to try to get outside instead of cutting back. They're, they're flowing with this too hard. Unless we do a crest book or something that's back against the grain. Of Is the blitz, Piper bringing the blitz as much as they have, must be making them nervous. Right. Because the play calling has been somewhat conservative. That sh for Chanute especially. Third down and seven. We'll most, most likely see Herb take to the air here. And Piper. Not showing blitz this time. He waggles out to his right. Picks up a good block from Harding. And there's Seamster again. Excuse me, Dagan Dean, who's wide open <laughs> every time on those out pass patterns. You can't almost beat their size, though. I mean, the, either one of them. They're both awesome sized. And they just right on the edge. They get open. And yeah, if, and so look, he's giving them five yards. It's just so hard because Piper and Seamster, or excuse me, D Dean and Seamster are both deep threats. And so you got to be wary of that deep ball, but it just allows them to get so easily open for those little out patterns 10 yards down the field. We just got to keep that in our playbook. And if Piper's going to give them that, it's a quick pattern too. That's, you know, they're going to bring the blitz and give up that on the outside. There are, we'll take. It's, it's, it's almost a game of dares. Piper's daring us to throw, but Schnute is daring us, daring them to press Come coverage. On. Yeah. <laughs> Here is another rollback and an easy completion to Lee. And boy, oh, you're not going to get him in the open field. 10 pushed out of bounds inside the 10. And boy, he made number eight, Colin Vigil, come up with air. He has that little two foot, little two foot cross step he does and doesn't stop any of his energy going towards the end zone. Well, poor Colin Vigil. This is just, if you watch on the replay, this is an unfair place to be. Yep. Open yep. field with Ty Leedy is just a bad place to be. And Leedy makes a miss and gets 10 extra yards. First and goal upcoming for the Blue Comets, who have a chance to rest control of the game right now. He wrestles, he wrestles pushes that hand right away from him, blocks it. Talk about it a lot. Ty Leedy, a state champion wrestler. Great balance. First and goal from the eight. Here's Herb. He's going to keep it to his right. Makes it through, spinning inside the five. So that was a good play call there by Chinoo going against their speed. Second down and goal coming up from the four. Maybe the three-yard line. So three plays inside the five is what you're looking at here for Chanute. Do they line up in the jumbo set? That is what it looks like. They brought out the beef. It's Herb under center. Three backs behind him. We got turn. Kristen. It's the give to Leedy. Leedy following blocker, spinning, reaching oh, for the right one the yard line or so. No, third down and goal upcoming, but now oh, you're, you're right. in prime quarterback sneak territory. And Eric Herb is a very good athlete. So it's line against line. Armano Rimano. 
I mean, this is most definitely a quarterback sneak, right, Coach? Oh, for sure. On the, you would do it on the goose. You got that big guy. You got number seventy at nose right now. Third and goal. Herb's got the snap moving there. forward. Boy, it pushed and he early, it. and he reaches over for six. There's the signal. Touchdown, Eric Herb. One yard quarterback sneak and schnoot. It wasn't on the first go, but Herb, don't give up and. Schnoot regains the lead. Well, Piper, like, look, the, the the force came up the middle like it has been, and they, for about half a second, it looked like they were going to get a stop. But, you know, these referees have, they're going to make you, forward progress has got to stop and stay stopped. Yeah. These referees have called that pretty consistently. In fact, Piper had a great run where the guy's forward progress stop got pushed back, and then he sh shrugged off a tackler. And, and got so, about four yards. yeah, you're gonna have to keep proving it. And uh, that time, Herb did the much the same thing the Piper player did in the first half, where he just m made an extra effort. Well, we set the we set we set the tone again. We got we got ahead now. Chanute leads 28-21 after the extra point, and they take control here in the second half. Well, that's exactly what needed to happen here as we uh, came out of the second half locker room. You get a you get a stop on defense. You get the ball back. Now we're on top, and uh, now you got to now you got to you got to somehow, some way, keep coming up with more stops here. Defense got to pin back. We got to, we can't sit scared. The pressure kind of doubles in the second half of a game like this. So now it'll be interesting to see Piper with the pressure on them. Now, now they've got to they've got to convert to keep pace here with Schnute. We'll see how they handle the pressure. Schnute was up to the task. I'd like to see a sack or two come out of that defensive line that was getting so many sacks. Oh, man, again, that you go back to the game plan for the Piper coaches, and head coach John Black has had a great game plan, and he has not put his quarterback in a position where he could get abused by the pass rush of the Blue Comets and has had a great running attack plan where it's just all been misdirection and fakes. And, and that, that tears linebackers well, this, up. Kick is going to go into the end zone. A nice, whoa, we just had a bank of lights go out on the far side of the field. And Well, back in the day, this would meant a 20 minute delay. But now with these newer lights, I don't know. I don't know what that means if they can turn these right back on. But whatever happens when we resume play, it'll be first and 10 for Piper at the 20 yard line after the touchback. You can't really tell on the on the video the lights here, went out when but we have a bank of lights out over on that side of the field. There you go. We're showing it now. Just kind of randomly went out. Right when the ball hit. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> well, they're going to try and figure this out as the referees are walking off the field. We'll take a timeout. We'll go to a break right here. When we come back, we'll see how they get this sorted out. You're watching Comet Vision. We'll be right back. KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. For years, Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has been providing quality financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. Their expertise ranges from basic tax management and accounting services to more in-depth services such as audits, financial statements, QuickBooks support, and payroll. Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has backed Chanute's youth in all their endeavors from the classroom to extracurricular activities. They're proud to help support the youth of Chanute by underwriting this KFEX broadcast. All right, welcome back. The lights still out, the officials converging. This seems like a great time. Uh, this seems like a great time, Coach, to mention that if you like podcasts, uh, I have a podcast. If you, if you enjoy our play-by-play -play at all and you like listening to me talk, I guess. I don't mean, I don't know why. I, I don't know what target audience we're getting here. Uh, <laughs> but if you like pop culture, you might try out the podcast Pop Culture Pastor. Just search Pop Culture Pastor in whatever format you listen to on podcasts. 
And uh, if you like geek culture, we talk about uh, just pop culture in that general sense. Me and my friend, we're both pastors, so it's uh, safe to listen to in your car with your family. You know you won't hear anything objectionable. That's not always a thing with podcasts. you got to be really careful when you're listening with your kids. But um, we invite you to check that out as long as we got a break here. It's been – you've been – you've been – so Blue Comets have just taken the lead. Piper's going to get the ball back here. But we are waiting on the bank of lights that has gone out on the northeast corner of the field. When I talked to you about your podcast, you told me it was, well, going faster than you would ex- growing faster than you expected at first yeah yeah we've we've got a nice um nice bank of listeners um so yeah if you and uh, we've been told we're wholesome okay. for geek geek culture wholesomeness geek culture so, yeah. wholesome. if that sounds like your thing go ahead and check us out pop culture pastor and if you like us subscribe give us a review that always helps that's my uh that's my my sidebar there your sidebar yeah, yeah. it helps you Moving on up. Yeah, I am a pastor, uh, for those that don't know. So um, that's why I'm so good at calling football games. Apparently, no, I, <laughs> this, is not, this is not my day job. I but hope, you are good at I it. I hope to be um, adequate. You do good at it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Play by play action. And I can't, us live. like, coach, I need you here. <laughs> I need you here for the football strategy because I watch football, but I don't know – the strategy like you know the strategy it all changes it's like right now it's going to be this is a it's a delay in the game that wasn't expected she knew it was on the roll yeah Who, what's going on right now as we worry about our lights coaches worried about our lights i mean i know why we got assistant coaches that keep everybody going well what, yeah what it does is it breaks up what has so far been a great football game exactly both teams playing hard a lot of energy, and now you get this weird little a little break in the action that's undetermined. So you're just kind of like as a player, you're sitting there with you know shaking your leg because yeah. you're like, come on, come on, I'm ready to go. And uh, now you've got a forced break after you just came out from the half not eight minutes ago, and we're on in the game. Four twenty-seven left to go here in the third quarter, and we're getting a forced break. As we look at some of the players on the field. Well, why don't we take another break? You're watching Comet Vision. Hopefully they'll get these lights sorted out while we're while we're gone. We'll be right back. Pet Bordered in Fredonia, Ehlert Construction Services was founded in Southeast Kansas as a small regional contractor and has now grown into a national heavy industrial construction company with regional offices across the United States. The Ehlert family is proud of our Southeast Kansas roots because we know that the people of Southeast Kansas make great employees. At Ehlert, we know that employees are our greatest asset and we're committed to investing in the growth of our employees and our community. Ehlert Construction Services, proud to support the youth of Southeast Kansas through the Firescape Coffee House and KFEX Firescape Radio. Whether you're completing home repairs, weekend projects, or planning your garden for spring, Cleaver Farm and Home, 2103 South Santa Fe, has a carefully selected inventory for all of your paint, hardware, and building needs. Cleaver's also offers free delivery for cat and dog food if ordered online at www.cleaverfarm.com. Cleaver's supports the youth outreach of the Firescape Youth Ministry and is happy to underwrite KFEX Radio. Thank you, Cleaver family. We appreciate your support. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Firescape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college-age students. During the week, the Firescape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, catch-ups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Firescape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast.
you are watching calisthenics. That is what happens when the lights go out at the stadium. You, not all the lights, but a bank of lights went out, and uh, we are biding time, stalling, waiting for these lights to come back on. And Schnutz coach is having his player stay limber. The sheriff is leave, leaving the complex. Wonder if someone hit power line close or something happened. That knocked out one bank of lights? That'd be a pretty neat trick. Yeah, half a bank's <laughs> go down. You get half bank go down. Because this is obviously wired by, you can go down in a. I'm not an electrician, but well, I'll go with it. I, I, I don't know. This is a whole lot of power. One of these LED yeah. lights might not be as much as they used to be, but I'm sure there's quite a few. Yeah. I cannot draw on any, any experience here. I'm trying to remember any. I don't, I don't think I've ever been at a live sporting event where the lights did go off for any amount of time like they have now. So this is very interesting to, to watch in, in what was, what's been a pretty intense football game. And now you're seeing both teams kind of doing what they can to try and keep the, this is the, keep the adrenaline yeah, flowing. Keep like the here, flow. Here's the thing is, is I think – Piper, what Piper has proved here is how big confidence is. They came out confident. Confidence um, releases endorphins and adrenaline and all of that stuff. And confidence is very important in any sporting event because it literally changes your decision making in the moment. Yeah. And, but that you also understand and realize that a lot of that is with the chemicals being produced by your brain. And so now you're going to have a forced break. Those chemicals start slowing down. It's not just about your muscles tightening up. So they're keeping their muscles loose by moving around, but you can't stop your brain from slowing, slowing down, down its production of adrenaline and um, the chemicals, endorphins, whatever. So now... We just went through the halftime. Yeah, what, what do you do as a coach when they get this game going again, they get those lights turned back on? Because now you're in a prime area to make a mistake coach uh, to make a, a hesitation so again the chemicals in your brain that produce the confidence it literally changes the your decision making on the field and it's changed especially and then really from piper's end of it where they've been running off this just energy they've had since the beginning of the game i i mean i want to say that it hurts both teams but i think it maybe hurts piper more this layoff here and they've got the ball so defense you just pin your ears back and you go yeah. Offense is the one who technically has to do proficient things that are done. that take yeah. decision making and all that. So a rough time for Chanute in that it breaks the momentum they just built, but also rough for Piper in the idea of that man, Getting they're the started. ones who are gonna have to come out on offense here and execute some things, whereas Chanute just gets to come out and run after you. And that would be, I'd rather be on this side of the ball where we can Get yeah, me, warm back up. Yeah, meanwhile, I mean, my decision-making is like, well, do I eat a hot dog now <laughs> or, like, nachos? So we get it easy up here, Coach. Uh, we don't have to go out onto that field and make anything happen in any sort of athletic way. Not that we could anyways. <laughs> uh, my knees hurt just watching these boys play. Uh, let's, just, let's just, while we're on that subject, let's take a time out and say what a joy it is to be able to do this. We get to work with all these high school kids behind the camera. This is all a high school production uh, made by the Chanute Tech classes. They, they do all the camera work. They're doing the production work. They are running the show here. And what you are seeing is thanks to them. So first of all, love getting to partner with them. But then being able to go through this season with the football team, the marching band, the, the dance team, we get to see the result of their work. And be a part of that. All season long and how yeah. it's grown and changed. And we get to celebrate that. And I just want to say personally how how much that blesses me just to watch these kids. But let's talk about football for just a minute because it is the playoffs. And there's something really interesting about football that is unique among the sports. Okay? When you play basketball or baseball, you can play you can play softball rec league into, into your 60s. I've seen them. You can find a pickup game of basketball anytime you want to. But you know, most of these kids, once they take off these pads for the last time, and one of these teams will do it tonight, 
That's it. Last this, time. This sport that they're immersed in, they'll never get to play it again yeah. the way they're playing it now. It's unique. You brought that up. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes football unique. It makes these playoff games a little bit heavier. And I always feel immense sympathy and empathy for All them the kids. It's like watching a, a boxer get knocked out. Yep. Like, you're, you're reveling in the joy of the knockout, but you're also feeling empathy for the guy that got knocked out. And it's just, it, I feel like that watching these high school football games sometimes at the, in the playoffs because so many of these kids who've been immersed in this, this is it. For months. Yeah. Not. Yeah, their lives. They were lifting. Yeah, seniors, their lives since little yeah. kid football. It's a cliff. I'm just, uh, as a coach, we've been motivated going through that, and then that loss happens, and it's, it's over. Turn in your pads on Monday, and yeah, yeah, so it's, it is. it's something to keep in mind as the, the competitions become more intense as you go through the playoffs, and maybe you're mad at the refs, or you're mad at a play call, or you're upset at a mistake you made. But you can, but you can sit and that keep back, keep keep in mind that this is all about the student athlete. Um, they're amateurs. You know, this is not professional. They're not getting paid. This is for this is for a love of the game, and they a game they put a lot of work in into oh, timing growth. It, it gro football grows you into a man, young man, a man soon because you have to learn how to take being bossed, do it in the exact step, exact timing that the coach wants. Man, you even sound like a football coach. Well, <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> All right, the lights are back on. They're getting warmed up. Let's take one more break. We'll come back and hopefully be ready for football. You're watching Common Vision. Cut. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. Well, the crowd reacting to the team slowly making their way back out onto the football field as those lights continue to power up. The crowd was treated to an impromptu dance party. So they got their dance and groove on. So they're all limbered up too, and it'll be interesting to see who can get that adrenaline back flowing quickly. We are about ready to go back to footballs. The referees check in with both teams. And here we go. Well, 4.27 to go here in the third quarter. Schmoot leads 28-21. Piper with the ball, starting from their own 20. Hey, I'd like to say we got our defensive line in a little different position. I'm, I'm, noti I'm noticing that we got two DNs right next to each other. Um, Laddish. Four wide receivers set. Here's the snap. Quick throw out to number two. He runs it towards the middle and meets the Chanute defense yeah, after oh. a gain of three. We try to always get nine, five, nine. Nine guys within five yards of the tackle 95% of the time, and that was seven or eight, so. Wyatt Costin was the first one there, but it's a, a decent pickup on first down. It's like a run, second down and six. So that time, Piper showed something they hadn't shown much of here in the game, and that has spread him out a little bit. Looks like we got Burt playing right defensive tackle, and Anderson playing them outside in. Again, three wide receivers, so Piper with a different look after that layoff, and now we've got a timeout. Well, we just had <laughs> quite the layoff. And Piper having to use their first time out of the second half with 3.41 to go in the third is not what you had planned if you're the Piper coaching staff. They're making a game change to that defensive. Okay, so, all right. 
first results of that layoff. The bank of lights went out. We had to wait probably what? What was it, about 10 to 15 minutes there as the lights came back on. Piper comes out in some different sets. They changed some things in that little break. Now they burn a timeout because Shit. so maybe that's the first effect that we can see from that forced layoff. A little delay. Yeah. So strike one goes to Piper as they burn an early timeout on a second and six play upcoming. Be careful. He might be drawing something up you saw against Well, us. you know, yeah. let's see. Let's watch the we'll formation. See. Exactly. Do they go back to what they were running? The interesting, again, the chess game continues. Receiver sticking around out there. All, and look, look at this, coach. The bunch formation is back. So now the formation is back to what they were running in the first half. And the D-line stays in the way we were, so. The result is a burn timeout that you might need later. Second and six, here's the man in motion. The give is the number four. He's swinging it out wide. He's following some blockers, nice. but the defense. beautiful. Defense played it decently well. Still a gain of four is going to bring up third and short. Gain of four against all that moving parts. That's not, I understand three fours gets first down. But oh man, they they gave him a, a nice mark on that on that run. Wow. So first down. Well, it looked like he was going to be short of that line. But they moved the sticks. First and ten. Looks like we added. Speed to the middle and weight to the outside. First and ten. Yeah, Harding is playing straight up linebacker right now. Four, four. Here is the, the give out outside. wide again as they're testing the speed of Schnooch D. What a play! Is that Ty Leedy yes. again? Oh my goodness. But give it give it to Dillo. He did his job. He had outside contain. He fought that blocker and he kept that running back inside. Yeah, that's where. a wonderful observation, coach. Let's see that on the replay. You watch the replay, watch Trey Dillo hold his position on the outside. There we go. We follow, look at Trey, right there. Oh boy, he he takes up a blocker and holds his position on the field, allowing Ty Leedy to make the play, that's great. Now Four should have been watching his job and he could have blocked Ty, but Ty went right between them, snuck and... Second down and nine after the gain of one yard on the play. Laddish has the snap, fakes it. It's going, he bobbles the ball, but somehow got it back under control and makes a good gain out of it. You it's going to bring up third and about three and a half. A lot of, a lot of times you would, that's called wrong shouldering that block so that you don't go after it. And most times you want to go after the running back. Well, big play upcoming here. We're going to call it third and four. And this will be, this will be an interesting play call here for Piper. They've been getting three, four yards on some of these misdirection plays here in the second half and, and on this drive. It'll be interesting to see whether they're tempted to pass the ball here, Coach. They are they out there in their coming. four wide lineup, so a passing formation. Watch the quarterback draw. It's Laddish, he's back, he's gonna throw it. He does let go of it, it's off the receiver's hands, and that's exactly what we were talking about, Coach. That was great coverage, so close that Herb's connected to him. <laughs> <laughs> Herb was stuck to the receiver, and that'll bring up fourth and four, and that's a huge play, Coach. You called it, it's, it's. Well, there's, there's, it's okay. Here comes so there's, the there's a set of risks yeah. there. Like, you've been getting three to four yards. Do you run the ball there? I don't know. And they chose to pass, and it didn't go well. So big moment for Chanute in a chance to really take control of this game that neither team has been able to. So third and four, though. This guy gets direct snap. Well, it's going to be a punt. It is a punt. Boy, it's a short one. Just get away yeah, from it. It hit us. That's that live. ball is going to go out of bounds. It doesn't matter if it hit him or not. Yeah. Right at the 49-yard line of Piper. So about the worst thing that could have happened for Piper on that drive was to kind of have it peter out like that and then not get a great special oh, teams yeah. punt. A hard situation for the punter. You're going into that stiff wind. And now Piper in a position where you almost feel with 122 left to go in the third quarter here, where you almost feel like you need to make a stop here to keep this from a – you've got to keep this a one-score game if you're Piper. It was just a bounce. The Blue Comets, what I would expect to see here now maybe is maybe some conservative calls here. Give them a couple runs, see if Leedy can bust one. Leedy Wear can kind of pound yeah. on them and get you a yeah, break a big play. 
Nope. What do I know? Herb back to pass. He pump fakes. Looking long. Seamster. What a catch. <laughs> Unbelievable grab by Seamster. Coach said, I'm going to set the tone going for the zone. I told you, I'm not a football coach. So whenever I guess on a play, just assume I'm going to be wrong. Well, I was guessing it earlier and read it wrong. This is why Coach Frizzell makes the big bucks. Yep. The whole big bucks will let you make it, Coach. Yeah. I'm sure he's making big bucks, right? His gas money. Huge play on first down as Chanute rolls the dice. You coach, because you love it. That's right. You coach because you love it, not because it's a great money-making no, venture. It's because you and, love them kids and, and watch you know, them develop. Yeah, you know Coach Frizzell loves these Chinook kids, yep. as as John Black on the other side probably loves his kids as well. For sure, yeah. Dedicated First and time. ten, four on the play clock. They got to snap this in a hurry. They got it. Herb, pass, wide open on the out route. Seems to have lost the football. It's on the turf. Piper has it. Uh, he got it back. Seems to got it. At 49 ripped it out. 42. Oof, all the pop boy. Seamster if he did, out there and grabbed what it. a play by Seamster. Boy, all that, the Piper players were signaling that, they had that, that football. That was a great tackle. He was he went for the ball at the same time he assured that, that he had cloth. Come around, popped it out. But Seamster went for it. He didn't give up. Almost a game-changing play by the Piper defense. And you're right, boy. The strip right there was beautiful. Let's watch it on the replay. Right, we got the tail end of it. That was number two, Mason LaRue, six uh, foot three. First down and 10 just outside the 10 yard line. They can get a first. You guys saw it out there. Seamster got hammered as he's kept his. Here's Leedy stretching it out. Now, oh, leaping over a defender. Touchdown. What a play. Touchdown, Ty Leedy. 12 yard run. I'm lightheaded. I got to sit down. Oh, my goodness. Ty Leedy showing more emotion than I think I've ever seen from him. What a play. You're going to see that one hurdles on some highlight him. reels. Let's see that again. He hurdles him. Going oh, to my the goodness. Touchdown. Is there anything this young man cannot do? Oh, look at this. Into your living room. Oh, no, my God. How does he land and keep going? <laughs> Oh, we talk about it so much with Ty. Amazing balance. And Chanute rips this game open here in the last seconds of the third quarter. Ty Leedy, an all-state performer in football, a state champion wrestler. The pressure didn't come. Oh, you run out of superlatives. Yeah. <laughs> what a what an amazing run by Ty. Incredible run. So many times in the playoffs. It comes down to your star players making star plays. Sure, yeah. And you just saw one. What an incredible play. The defender went down. I referred to him as Barry Sanders. He was that is a play that I'm suspecting you will see on Twitter and several other venues. Snoot set the tone now. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, down. momentum has clearly picked a side. And it is on the side of the Chanute Blue Comets as they open up the first two-score lead of the game. This is that momentum we were talking about, Dave. With that delay that no one had control of. The crowd is at full throat. The Guns and Roses is blaring. And Paradise City reigns. The flags are still blowing, but not as hard. Yeah, it's still pretty strong win. The good news for Piper is the third quarter is six seconds away from ending, and they'll get the win for the final quarter. Here is the kick. It is a one-step kick by Jacket. Will it stay in bounds? No. It's going to go out of bounds, so they'll get the ball at the 35. 35-yard line. And probably one, one last play here in the third. Ball out. The bounce will be placed on the Piper 35-yard line. see if defense can start to sew it up. No. Close here, close down here. This quarter, um, safe to say, has been a disaster for Piper. Yes. Just as badly as it could possibly go for him, that, that is what has happened. Schnute running down to the other end of the field. I don't know. Oh, they're going to make him re-kick it. Okay. Well, they'll make him re-kick it here. That's probably a good idea. Schnute doesn't have um, a deep, a legit deep kicker. So they're going to make him re-kick this ball. And I don't think that's a bad idea. I think, uh, I think that has possibilities. Although, you're always taking a risk, Coach, when you do this. Yeah. 
but you're going to give Brian Jacket another opportunity to put this ball in the air. That was a line drive. If he gets this ball up a little bit, get let the wind take it. I mean, that was not a good kick. No, he, had, he didn't get his foot in. Now you're going to give him another opportunity? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'd have taken this penalty like that. Yeah, I, I'd have taken it at the 35, maybe. And just kept going. But Piper needs something big to happen. That's what they're banking. Here is Jacket. This one is a little bit more up, but still a line drive. It's off the receiver's oh, hands. They didn't need that. Piper picks it up at the one. Now they're going to have to bring it out of their own end zone. Defenders waiting. Oh, not escaping. And the disaster continues for the Pirates. They didn't need that. Fourth down coming up. Your Blue Comets lead, 35-21. Come on back for the fourth quarter. You're watching Comet Vision. Cardinal Drug Store, located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute, is a small-town pharmacy and gift store, which includes an old-fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drug Store is your one-stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. Welcome back. Well, Piper starts on the 15 yard line. Jaron Lewis brought it to my attention that I mislabeled that Guns N' Roses song. For an 80s kid, that is tragic, and I apologize. <laughs> Fifteen yard line is where Piper starts this drive. First and ten, the Schnoot defense, all the momentum. Here is the handoff. He's looking to pass. pass. Let's one go. Gets hung up in the wind, but he's wide open. And Seamster is going to have to make a tackle. No, now Quentin Harding, Harding, all the way down to the twenty. Harding bit on the motor, the movement across coming behind, coming to the right, and when he bit. The receiver went, and that put that run pass. Well, there was a little taste of their own medicine. So Piper strikes back with a big, big play. Doesn't mean anything unless they punch it in here, Coach. No, so I agree. They it's still got some work to do, but a big, big play. And that's the same play, Schnoot, similar play that Schnoot ran in the first half. Always got to have be ready. Wide receiver pass. So first and 10 now with the field switched on the Schnoot 21. And Logan Laddish goes to work. So we got our corners in tight. Here's the snap and the give to number four. He's looking for a space, turns it up field, and the defense is there to stop him after a gain of about four. That's actually about a three, and then the, the he made a good play to fall forward. That was Colin Vigil, and we got a, a hurt Piper player. That's number 83, Zach Netter, senior lineman coach. He's been the tight end. He's tall. He's been playing DN, too. He looks like he just, just tweaked, tweaked his ankle yeah. a little bit. Yeah, he's right at the, the end of that play, so maybe got rolled up a little bit on. Yeah, he is putting weight taped. on it. So. He's got taped up. And it's a, when, you, when you sprain that ankle, it's so easy to keep spraining it because you basically what you've done is you've loosened up all those tendons and ligaments. And so you, you remarked that he had it taped up pretty good already. Yeah, it seems like if... So hopefully he'll be able to come back out on the field after getting it retaped. Yeah. Second down and five is where we're left with, though. So a good first down play in the red zone so for Piper. It's interesting they got to spread out. Are they going to run? Laddish back fake, to pass. He's looking, run. looking. He's got no one to throw to. Here comes the rush. He has to let one go, and that's incomplete. Well, great coverage that time. Good thing his receiver kept coming because he didn't have anybody to throw to. No, and he was running out of time, yeah, had to let he, one go, and he really put it where nobody was going to be able to get it. Smart play. His receiver actually got a hand on the ball, but he was well out of bounds. But it does bring up third down and five. Now this is most obviously two down territory for the Pirates. Our defense has been a wall right here, so let's go. We'll see what Piper chooses to do. Knowing this is two down territory, you might see a run here. 
Yeah, probably coming back reverse or something. Laddish, it is, boy. We got a flag down, and this is going to be a killer for Piper. Yeah, Absolute killer. Their quarterback side. And boy, the coach for Piper is absolutely livid on the other side. He does not like the call. No, 25 moves. Yeah, well, okay, and that's the man on the sweep, so. But he did a. Yeah, if he, if he kind of does that hesitation thing, because he's not moving. It's not like a jet sweep where he's in motion before the snap. Right. He's going on, on the snap, and when you when you flinch like that, yeah, so it's completely different. I know what the coach is saying. He's saying he's in motion, but no. he's not. No. <laughs> yeah, it's a tricky little thing they're doing because they're running like it's like a jet sweep, but it's not. They run. Third down and 10 is what it brings up. That was that forward line lunge that the kid did that caused it to be forward motion. Schnute defense looking for another stop. Here is the fake and the quarterback keeper. Laddish makes a great move to get a few more extra yards. So Laddish read um, Dane being out there. He set it up. He was waiting for him, going to eat his lunch, and he's like, I'm not going there. It brings up fourth and a long four, and this is a huge play now in the game, Coach. Piper absolutely needs it here. Down two scores. They do not want to give this ball back to Chanute in this situation. They, they keep getting our other linebackers sucked out to where we only have two in the Boy, middle. A lot of confusion out there, Coach. See they don't that. want to use another timeout. Trips to the far side. Laddish back to pass looking. Little slant. Oh, it's completed. Nice oh. play inside the five. Well, that was the first time they'd run that look. It was just a quick slant. They're safe to play. Piper's mixed it up well. They mixed it up well, Coach. He's, coach is doing a good job calling against our defense. He's spreading us out. Getting it quick. There's nothing taking time. So, that. so first and goal for the Pirates from the four-yard line. He's got us guessing. Now there's the man in motion, the fake to him. Oh, oh. boy, someone had him dead to rights in the Small. backfield and couldn't get him, but the defense backed him up. They're going to they're gonna hold him to a gain of a, maybe half a yard. That was small. Yeah, Caden Small had him. Had an opportunity to grab him in the backfield. The Laddish is showing some escapability for, for a big quarterback. I mean, he's showing some very good uh, movement and ability to make guys miss. He does the veer. They do a form of the veer that he reads the DN and cuts up if he wants to. Second and goal from the four. Here's Laddish again. The handoff to 42 is a big running back, but he oh, is stuffed. Great That's play. Ty Leedy. That, it's, it's Ty Leedy again. And Harding, the two leading. Harding. Well, comes. four. 42, Aaron Henson. Well, he's a sophomore, but big for a sophomore. Yeah, he's big. He's a fullback. He's built like a fullback playing tailback. But that was a great just combination tackle. Leedy was low, and Harding comes flying in. Third and goal now from the two as they gave him forward progress there. Can Chanute's defense. Okay, they got to spread out. So, I mean, a quarterback sneak. Smart play by. Oh, they has got to bust it out wide. He's nice. not going to. Number four. Starter. Jay Starter with an amazing play. And oh, coach, I don't know. Do you, why do you run it outside there? Yeah. Thought he had us coming all to the end, but Tarter, he's got a great job getting off of his receiver. Man, I don't know. The, the, uh, Piper's doing a great job of mixing things up, and maybe you outthink he yourself out, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He outguessed himself. For now a they're going to spend another timeout, their second timeout of the I'd half. I'd like to say I like Seamster's move. He came in. There was a big gap in the between the center and the guards, and Seamster moved into that gap, and that might have changed that play to go outside. We'll keep it right here. 7.42 to go here in the game. Schnute leads 35-21. Piper had a beautiful setup here, but the wheels kind of fell off in the last couple plays here. Now it's fourth down and goal from the six. Still doable. Piper has to have it. They have to have it, Coach. This is the game for them. So do you leave it in your quarterback's hands, who's second in the state in passing? Or I mean, Danny's got 
a thousand yards after tonight. He's been highly effective when you've allowed him to pass. Now they haven't done it as much as maybe we would have seen if the wind wasn't such a factor. Mm -hmm. I think if I'm Piper's coach, and I've made all the wrong calls to guesses tonight, but if I'm Piper's coach, I let my quarterback throw it here. Throw it? I, they, I let him throw it. Give him an option. Get him out of the pocket. The way we've shut him down, yeah. they've got to throw it. Six yards, that's a lot of yards to get. We'll see what happens. But he does delays. But look at this gap between our D tackles. Laddish waits for the snap. Nope. It's a, it's a fake. It's a and he's not going to get it. He's going to get stopped, and that's it was never there. Call. Ty Levy there and that is a huge stop for the blue comets too much time too much time to take for that to happen and our defense is too fast let the record show i was right coach that they, they should have thrown <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness oh it's it's so rough because that play was working the entire first half but that was great adjustment there by the schnoot defense and they've adjusted to that play here in the second half that play has not nearly been nearly as effective no and so, so, so here in the second half, I think what you have seen is that Chanute has taken a little bit, ga a little bit back in that chess game, of, of, you know, of what we're seeing the between these two coaches. The X's and O's on the chalkboard at halftime seems to be rolling with Chanute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, incredible, incredible stop for the Blue Comets. They take over first and ten from inside their own ten. It's on the five, and Harding boy he has to escape just to get it back out to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he went through there. He, he, he's, he, he got, almost took he got, the hand off, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he got skinny. I don't got to put a hand on him. Looked like maybe there was a missed assignment or something. I don't know. Gus Thuston's talking to the official. Blue Comet tie, Lady gets the call. That was up the middle. I, was, I don't know if uh, maybe you run it to the right to Gus's side. You need some yardage. You need some breathing room. Maybe run this out to the right because the wheels on the Gus go round and round, coach. Let's see what they choose to do with it. They've got two wide receivers to this near side, two running backs. Now the linebacker showing blitz again. It's going to be a quick pass. Whoa, dangerous. Ooh, it was high. Boy, there's a lot of traffic over there, and somehow Dagan Dean made the catch and gained a yard or so. But that brings up third down, so not out of the woods yet if you're a Schnoo Blue Comet fan. The clock continues to tick down. We're going to go under six and a half now in the game with a two-score lead. Let's do that drag across. We'll see what uh, Coach Frizzell chooses to do. It's sort of the same situation with Piper. Now you're third and long. How risky do you want to get here against the wind? We're deep in our own territory. We're definitely a safe call right here. You might just see a handoff to your best player, Ty Leedy. Nope, Herb's back to throw. Here comes the blitz. Boy, he has to escape. He's got room to the outside. <laughs> Leaps in the air and did not get enough for the first down, I don't think. Nope, he's going to be short by a yard, yard and a half. He was trying to clear him to get that extra little bit. Boy, he, he sold out for that yardage. And number eight just sent him flying out of bounds. <laughs> what? That number eight, I've been impressed with him. He plays with a, he plays with an edge, coach. I kind of oh, like he, that. Oh, for sure. Colin Vigil has been impressive on the defensive side of the field for Piper, and he makes the play here, and he's going to get his team the ball back with 5:54 to go. He plays wide receiver, and he's still bringing it. Herb, Herb, Herb let's Herb. give it up for Herb. Boy, he sold out his body for that, and lucky he didn't come up with any sort of injury there. When you leave your legs, it gets dangerous. Delay game. We got a delay game. It looked like they were going to line up and try and get them off sides, but they just didn't line up quick enough. They just didn't have enough time to get it done. Well, that's not the position of the field where you want to take a delay game. No, we took a timeout. So, so they're going to say they took a timeout before the penalty. Is that right, Coach? Yes. Okay. So right. fourth down, timeout. We'll take it with them. 5.54 to go. Come on back for the last five minutes. It's going to be wild. From kickoff to the final lap, from Pee Wees to the weekend pros, 
Our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports-related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to labettehealth.com. All right, so you heard the official call. The ruling is that they did not get a timeout called. And so it's backed up fourth and seven now from the nine, and you got your punter standing in your own end zone. Most important thing is that he just gets this off, Coach. Yeah, you don't worry. We hope to get it past 40. There's the snap. Boy, he's got to get rid of it quick. Boy, they might have got a piece of it. There was three guys on him. Takes a piper bounce. Boy, he picks it up. Dangerous place to pick up that ball. Nothing bad happens, thankfully, for Piper. Boy, that, is, <laughs> that, that was, was chaos personified. Uh, that was close. Now, what, what it leads to here is first and 10 for Piper on the schnoot end of the field. We got some chaos still going. There is, a flag. there is flag down on the field somewhere. I don't see it. But they're talking to schnoot. So is this on Piper? It's in the end zone, laying in the blue. Do we have roughing the kicker? Play, running, into the kicker. running into the kicker. So it's uh -huh. just a five-yard penalty. Man. So they're just going to apply it to the end of the play there, which I think is a smart decision. I don't think you want to re-kick that. They got no, pretty close yeah, to that, that one. Was... I think you just scoot them back to five yards go with and go defense. with it. This wind... I don't know. It looked like it had winded down a little bit, but this wind seems stronger than it did before. So a five-yard penalty on the end of the run will back it up to the 36-yard line. And we'll call it the 35. <laughs> yep, I agree. That's, that's funny because it looked like he was out on, like, yeah. on the 31 before, <laughs> but we'll take it. First and 10, 544 to go. Piper needs a quick score and get the ball back. So they got to spread out again. Here's a quarterback, quarterback draw. Laddish on the run. And, boy, Schnute's defense wasn't fooled, but he broke a couple tackles. And uh, we got a Schnute defender slow getting up. Now Bert, he's getting up. Burt had a chance to get him off the end, and Tartar had to come up and make the play. Wyatt Costin was the, the guy slow to get up. I think he was just disappointed that he missed the tackle. Maybe just hurt his pride a little bit. Yeah, he slipped off. And then Bert. It's a good game for Laddish when it appeared nothing was going to be there. It's second down and five. Now, it seems pertinent to note here, Coach, that Pipers had to use two of their three timeouts before this point. So if they score here, they're down to one timeout. Here's Laddish. Boy, he's keeping his options open, but he's going to tuck it and run. Oh, nice stiff arm there. Gets off a couple tackles, he but he's tripped up. By a yard, but... Uh, he made, that's a great effort run by Logan Laddish. He, he's, he is their team. Yeah, he's. I mean, 42 gets a few yards, a few carries. They think make a few passes, but. He shrugs off Dillo, and it's just been fantastic tonight. Logan Laddish has been a great leader for his team. team for Lots sure. of he's seniors. Carrying, he's carrying a lot on his shoulder, his line. Lots of seniors. I've been impressed with this Piper team tonight. 457 and counting. Third down and short. And we've got a flag on the field. That's going to be a substitution penalty, I think, Coach, and this is a killer. Dirty laundry. Oh, my. <laughs> they broke the huddle with too many, and it's a procedure penalty. And, boy, just an absolute killer for Piper. They've had a few of those kind of penalties here in the second half. Shoot yourself. It's, it's hard. I mean, it's... Both teams? Go ahead, Coach. Go ahead. I just say it's just hard. The kids get frustrated. Yeah. Well, how Both. about this, though? Both teams had to endure that un that forced timeout when the lights went out. But it seems to have affected Piper a little bit more than it affected Chanute. They've yeah. made a lot of mental errors, a lot they of penalties. Got, we were talking about this turning your brain off. Third down and seven now. They're clearly in two-down territory, though. Here's the handoff. Boy, he's keeping his pass. Options open. Let's one go. Down the field. It's caught. 
just over the outstretched hand of Chase Tarter and Piper stays alive. That's the second time in this quarter that they've done that. Yeah, and Jace Tarter didn't get beat there. He's going to be kicking himself on that one. No, it's not that he got beat. No, he went for He the made ball. a move for the football yeah. and just went too early. I agree. He didn't make a wrong choice to go for the run. He stayed on his guy, just went for the ball. So Piper, however it happens, makes the play. And with 4.32 to go, they're going to get this back to a one-score game. Kind of important extra point is through... And it is 35-27, Chanute. Tartar, don't hang your head, man. You made, you played a heck of a game. You've come in and made some great saving tackles on coming around the end. Keep your head up. Well, now here's the interesting thing, Coach. Piper's down to one timeout. Do you onside this? There's 4.32 to go. I mean, I don't know. I don't, you better I don't know if I feel comfortable. Trickeries. Yeah, I don't know if I feel comfortable as, as the Piper coach saying, I'm, I like my chances for a three and out. There's two books by coaches that just onside all the time because yeah. of the chances, Coach or Dave. That what's the risk? Man, I think I think I, I, I almost feel like they're forced to maybe try an onsider here. I know they probably won't, but man, you give this ball back to Chanute, and they've got one of the best runners in the state, and Piper's got one timeout. They just let this clock go. Eat it, eat it. Oof, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't line up in just that bunch formation. What we'll we see. What we started the game in and bring. They're, they're expecting they're an onside. Yeah, yeah, they're they're all they're up. So the coach Frizzell is thinking what I'm thinking. You might even no, see one of those. Standing there. One, you might even see one of those. Like if, if Piper, if maybe you give the kicker the, the option. Because now, like, a pooch kick to the 30 looks pretty good. Well, no. Well, it's still, yeah, it looks good. But our guys have picked it up, and you're coming forward. We'll see what they choose to do. The speculation time is over. He'll squib kick it maybe right up that middle gap. Here's the whistle. And it is an onside kick, and it begs, takes the bounce. It needs to. Piper gets a hand on it. They got it. Oh, my goodness. What a perfect top that that football took. And Piper has their prayer answered. What an onside kick. Now you're talking about mental. Here we go. Come on, D. Don't hang your heads. Well, there's two things that needed to happen right here. That needs to take that bounce and that hand on the football right there by number seven, who sells out. Lamar Lynch makes an incredible play. Yep. He gets it out of Dean's hands. All he could do was get a hand on it. He couldn't receive it himself. He keeps the ball alive, and that is an incredible effort play you just saw. 4.27 to go. Piper with a chance. Chanute's got to get a D here coming in. First and 10 from the Chanute 36. Laddish back to pass. He's looking, looking, middle of the field, and it's incomplete. Well, he had a man open. They're, they're, better, they're better odds tonight with running backs throwing the ball than they are with their quarterback throwing the ball. <laughs> right. but. The big pass plays tonight have been away from the quarterbacks. Yeah. You're right, coach. Second down and 10. Laddish had a lot of time there. We'll see, but that was probably the longest step drop back he's had tonight. All right. We'll see what they choose to do here. Second down and 10. We're all spread out. Here oh. is the run. Yeah, it is a run in. and an option. Laddish got a lot of room. Shrugs off another tackle and two tackles. Down to the sideline and Seamster forces him out of bounds. I don't, I don't know why. They've got our defense spread out wide for a quick run where you want and pick your own spot. Really impressed with Logan Laddish tonight. Yes. Really impressed. Come on, he Chanute. has, Tighten it's, it it's almost like he's got Crisco all over him. He's just sliding right off them. They haven't proved their passing game besides the, the two long ones. First and 10 from the 12 yard line. Piper in the red zone looking for a score to even it up. Laddish. He's got it. It's an option to the right. This time he pitches. There's no one there. Oh, he turns yep. it upfield though. Maybe if he turns that, keeps going out wide with that, he had more room. Our middle linebacker coming across. Leedy was coming across and read it perfect. Second he's, down. Leedy's having to fight. 
two guards coming out to him. So a gain of about four and a half. Now we're into the nitty gritty. It's do or die time for both teams. Piper needs a score to tie it up. Schnute looking for a stop. Come on. Laddish with Terrell Anderson in the backfield. Safety switch sides. We come up to a 4 4. It's that set up the jet sweep. The quarterback it. keeper, Laddish, pushing defenders down to the one. Third down coming up. No. We got to load the box. It can't be as quarterback sneak for a one yard touchdown. Yeah, it's, it's right at the one, too, coach. This is when you run. It is a first down. First down. They got a first down inside oh. their inside the two there. So it's first and goal from the one yard line. I actually call it the one and a half. This is an interesting call. Do you let them get the touchdown and you get yourself three minutes? We're under three minutes to go. I don't know. Schnute has all three of their timeouts. I don't know that they need you, all that time. Here's the snap to give to the running back, and he's going to walk into the end zone. Piper still needs an extra point to tie it up, but what a huge turn of events. That's Piper. No quit in them. Gets a miracle onside bounce, and then a great effort play to keep that alive for his team and man. Well, for onsides to work, it has to be all in and out. So 35-34 is the score, and this extra point is huge. They've got a great kicker. Snap is good. The hold is good. Oh, that! Oh my goodness! It went through. Well, that looked awkward, but it went through the uprights. We're gonna watch it on a replay. Yeah, let's watch. Oh my goodness! That extra point looked dicey, but it's tied. Two forty-six to go. Now here's the important thing for the Blue Comets. It's all in your grasp. It's still under your control. Two forty-six between you and your destiny. Winner of this goes on to the quarterfinals. And Chanute will have the ball, and you wouldn't want it any other way oh, no. if you're a Blue Comet fan because you got one of the best offenses in 4A. Put it in your guys' hands. Lions got lines to do their job. You got to find a way, if you're uh, Coach Frizzell, find a way to get the ball in Ty Lee's hands in the open field. Maybe a, a screen pass, something like that. Give him the juke and jive. Yeah, maybe not just a straight up run. No. I, I'm thinking get him out of that backfield, get him in some space, and make Piper make a tackle. Piper's done a great job of making Schnoot make tackles, which they've been a little shaky on. We're going to have to eat up two minutes, too. First things first, I mean, almost three minutes. you've got two dangerous threats back there receiving this kick that can make anything happen at any time. I gotta believe you're kicking this to the left side to Caden Seamster if you're picking your poison. They don't, they kick it to Ty Leedy's side. It's gonna hit the turf and it's gonna roll out of bounds and it's gonna be a touchback. So first down and the Piper sideline is jazzed up as the official, official tells him to get off the field. So first down and 10 coming up from the 20-yard line, and the Schnute crowd is silent, Coach. Yeah, it's a little like shock. Black sweet, yeah. A little shock emanating through the stadium. Momentum all on See, Piper's side. They're saying it touched him. They're saying it touched him. Oh, you mean Piper's sideline? They're yeah, arguing their for coaches, it? Their coach is livid. Yeah, but what does it mean if it did? It's still a touchback. No. Because it still rolled out of the end zone. He never had control of it. Well, when kickoffs, when you touch the ball, become different. First and 10. We'll see what Schnute chooses to do here. With 2.46 to go and one drive with for all the marbles. He went and explained what. Yeah, I just don't see how that can be any different if he doesn't have control of the football. Press coverage. On the far side, here is the give to Quentin Hardy. He's got a big hole. He turns it upfield, running over tacklers near the first down marker. And now, Coach, 
You can work the ball down the field. You got plenty of time, but you maybe let that clock tick a little bit where if anyone's going to have a shot, it's going to be you. Him and Levy. So it's going to bring up second and short. Levy made a nice little stop. Just I'm going to stop, give him a couple extra yards, and block this one lineman. I'm not sure how he got that spot since it looked like he fell down at the 31, but here we are. <laughs> second and short at the 29. Here's the snap. Herb's going to quarterback draw. He's got a lot of space. Boy, they went for the football, and he's still on his feet, picking his way up the field, all the way out to the 50. Power running by Eric Herb. 157 to go. He was fired up a minute ago. He's still coming. He's, he's picking his team up in that huddle. Come. Well, now the clock starts ticking again. 147, 146 and counting. First and 10 from midfield. Herb with two running backs. Linebackers creeping up. Here's the blitz. Herb back to pass. Has to let go. Of it. Oh, he had to rush it a little bit while they were trying to do get Leedy out in space. Yep. And it's an incomplete pass. Boy, if he connects on that, though, Coach. We, yeah, we picked up a great blitz there. I want to give the line credit. But had he just got it over his head a hair more, Leedy would have been open. 129 to go, tied 35 to 35 in what has been a fantastic high school football game. Chanute faces second and 10. Piper, with only one timeout, is just trying to hold. Leedy in motion, now Seamster in motion. No jet sweep, and now Herb running for his life, has to let one go for Dean on the sideline. Oh. No, he doesn't make the catch. This brings up third and 10. Well, Piper has brought the blitz two plays in a row, and Chanute wasn't ready. Yeah, we, we had empty backfield. And this brings up interesting times for the one seed, the overall one seed in 4A. Third and 10. Third and 10. This is not four down territory, I would assume, Coach. So they need something at the sticks here. We got to get deep. digging. We got Dean on this side, but a safety shading over this way. Leedy out in motion again. Do we have time to get it across? No blitz. Herb in the pocket. Let's one go over the middle. He's got it, man, but the defenders caved in on it and almost picked it off. Fourth down. And Schnoot may have to give this ball back. They surely will not risk giving this ball back to him at midfield. 50, no. Piper celebrates on the far sideline. You think you would have led them? He would have led him and not try to float it to where Ty Leedy could have run under that ball, maybe. Schnute lines up to go for it. This is a this is an incredible call, coach. They're going for it. Nope. They're going to try and draw him off sides. They're not falling. Now Herb takes a step back. You're going to see a pooch kick. Oh, it's straight up into that wind, and it's going to drop and boo, go dangerously near. Well, Coach, I don't know. Now maybe you think maybe we should have just gone for it. It's a 12-yard punt. Well, it's worked good for us all season, that little sweep drop back kick. But when the times and the pressures, that was a rush to get back. Uh, you kind of maybe have your toe pointed. You just get a rough kick, like you said, maybe. So we're tied 35-35 after an improbable comeback by Piper. They got the crowd a needs great to get loud. effort onside kick to stay alive. They yeah. converted and punched it in, and now they've got a shot at the win and an upset. Here's Laddish, little swing to the outside. It's off the turf and incomplete. Defense has been holding Chinook the whole game, the whole year. They've had no problems getting the ball back to their offense. So they got to come together as a unit and well, get this to stop right now. The interesting thing here is, is with Piper back to pass, they throw an incompletion, stops the clock, brings up second down and 10. Right, I Chinook has all three timeouts. We just got to get a stop right here. 
The crowd imploring the Blue Comets. Spurring on the D. Here's Laddish. He's going to go with the quarterback draw, and he's got a blocker. Bouncing off a couple defenders for a good run of seven. Leedy is cramping up. Well, that's not good. They need him out there. Yeah, they've been playing hard. Laddish on the run. Third down and seven coming up. Ty Leedy getting a cramp stretched out. He's going to have to come off the field, Coach. It's locked up. His calf is locked. He's hurting. It's in a knot. Man, that is not good. Not what you want to see if you are a Chanu Blue Comet fan as – Possibly the best player on the field has to come out with a pretty severe cramp. He don't want to slow his team down. He's get out the field, get this, keep him on. 51 seconds as they wind the clock. Third down and four. This is, meanwhile, kind of a big play. Laddish in the gun. He's back to pass. Now he runs. Quarterback draw. He's got some room. First down and more. Tackled at the 46. We have Costin playing middle linebacker who went in for Levy. Keep in mind, something to keep in mind here is Piper has the wind and one of the best kickers in the state. 28 seconds and counting. Laddish needs to snap the ball. He's back to pass. He's looking, looking. Let's it go over the middle, and it's defended well by the Blue Comets number four. Jace Tarter got there at the same time as the ball. Incomplete clock stops with 18 seconds to go. So Cash is in there that's got taken light Leedy's place. Leedy still trying to work off that cramp on the sideline. Second down and 10, 18 seconds. The clock becomes the factor. Laddish trying to get his team a shot at a field goal here. He's back to pass. He's looking, looking. Now here comes oh, Dean. Dean's after him. He's go. Oh, he just gets rid of the football. Did that get picked? No, it bounced off the turf. Well, Dagan Dean almost forced the quarterback into a huge mistake. Now 11 seconds on the clock. He dug deep in his tank. They've been burning. They've been burning that gasoline. Boy, Dagan, just so much motor there. Had to change directions. Boy, that hit number eight, Nathan Wilson, in the chest. Could not come up with what would have been a huge defensive play. Laddish, well, they've held on to that one timeout. He's looking for a completion in the middle of the field where he can set up his field goal kicker. So we got to watch. We just got to play D to shut him down. Laddish, back to pass. Here comes the blitz. He's going to have to get rid of it quickly. It's a screen. Number nine's going to have to be the one. He's towards the sideline, out of bounds for a good defensive play there by Chanute as they recovered well. So small, what great effort for a defensive end to be coming out to catch a receiver. Or, but he saw his corner coming up, and he didn't want to run into each other, so he left it up to the corner to rush him out. Gain of only five when it looked like he was going to get more, Coach. Yep, great, great effort. Great effort by the Chanute defense and pursuit to stop him from getting more yardage, which probably sets up a Hail Mary instead of a field instead goal. Instead of a field yeah. goal, right. Huge play. Now, what you don't want to have happen is any sort of pass interference down the field. Or a delay. I mean, we, got, we can't be so loose that we don't, and he runs Laddish, it. back to pass. He's getting good blocking. Now here comes the rush. Dean forcing him to get rid of it, and he does. That'll be the that's, end of regulation. That's intentional grounding. It should be our ball one time. Oh, well, they won't give it to us. It's a play. They're going to talk about it. They are talking about it, it over there on the sideline. It should be intentional grounding. There was no receiver. If it is intentional grounding, do they get a free play? One play, they're going into overtime. But Now the referee's walking out to the middle of the field. He's reaching for his mic. Nope. He's they're calling it. We're going to overtime. They're calling it overtime. We're going to overtime. Come back. Bonus high school football on the way. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. 
Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDIC. Well, welcome back. You're getting bonus high school playoff football. Piper makes an improbable comeback on a just incredible effort play on an onside kick. Well, first of all, uh, the onside kick took one of those. uh, If you're a coach, a special teams coach, it's the perfect bounce. Yes. It bounces once. It's like a skip bounce into a big hop, looping hop bounce. Over the guy. Yeah, over the, the first, first receiver, yep. and then an incredible effort play uh, by one of the Piper kids. And forgive me, I forget who it was. but Number seven. He was running full speed. Lamar Lynch, you're correct. That was Lamar Lynch. And he gets all what he all he could do was get a fingertip on that ball and keep the play alive, and he does. And Piper gets an improbable onside kick that leads to a score to tie it up. So what a play. Now, here's the situation. Schnute, first overtime game of the year. They were undefeated on the season. This is the closest game they've played by far. You've got Ty, you've got Ty Leedy on the sideline still trying to work out a cramp. So your best player may not be available here. So this is, like, listen, this is 50-50 right now. This is right. You, you've brought up during the season that 4A football, one player down, one player down, where – well, we've got Harding backing up. Yeah. So, well, offensively, it's not as big of a deal as it is right. defensively. defensively. Right. Quentin Harding has shown that he is a capable running back back there as a sophomore. Now, where it, where it gets a little dicey is on the defensive end. Here. The way it works here is. We just did a great stop, so let's build on that. Yep. Cause they, and both teams will get a series that starts on their 25-yard line. Yep. And they'll be able to match each other. So we'll see how this plays out as far as who it, will get the ball first. Four, four plays from the team. Well, it's, uh, it's, you get a series. So he could, um, you can get a first down. Isn't it? Both teams huddled up. That's where we're at. I don't know. Oh, here we go. I thought that it was from the 10 yard line. You get four play. You get you get a chance to get into the end zone. Okay, so it's not the same as college. No, college is from the 25. And college, they get an offensive possession yes. from the 25. Here, you get four downs from the 10. Yep, you can kick a field goal if that's all you wanted. If you want to score, or you put it in for it. But both okay. teams get to do what. I'm going to tell you, I don't like the odds of either of these defenses stopping the other team from the 10. I just, we haven't seen it tonight. Uh, both of these teams in that set in that scenario, I'm liking the offenses in this situation. Now, Ty Leedy walking back onto the field now, so he's got that cramp worked out just in the nick of time, which is huge for Schnute. They need him. For sure. He's been, he's been a key player on both sides of the ball all night. Piper High School, the Pirates, pushing the number one seed in the 4A playoff tournament to the brink here. Will it be the underdog or will it be the one seed who pulls it off? We're about to find out. Official going over the rules with the captains. A lot of a lot of rules. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be clear. Alright. Here's the coin flip. They're calling it. I can't tell anything by the reactions. Newt wins. Good good poker face going on down there. So now they get to pick their direction. 
So they're going to oh, defer, you right? She you want the ball it. second. She yeah. knew it won. You want the ball second. You want to know what you have to do, correct? I would. Yeah. This ends with someone going for two, right? Yeah. I mean, if I'm either one of these coaches, if I, and I go second, and I give up a touchdown, and then I score a touchdown, I'm going for two. To win? Yeah. Go home. I, I can see it both ways. I see Piper as the underdog saying, hey, we're going to go for the win. Right. Chanute's going to defer. So, if I'm Chanute's coach and I give up a touchdown and I score a touchdown, we're gonna go I'm going first. for two. We're going to go first. They got to pick the way we get to play. We get to go first. So, first. No, I, I think I think we deferred. Yeah, I think we deferred, okay. Coach. Sorry. So they we they still get to pick which way they're going. Because we defense. we it's deferred. We won yeah. the toss and we deferred to go second. All right. So Chanute defense will take the field first. And so the offense, when they get their chance, will know exactly what they need. Well, right now I'd be spying the quarterback. Well, it's been a it's been a mix up of a game for the Pirates, but Logan got, Logan Laddish has been outstanding. I was going to say he carried yeah. the team, so I can't see why you wouldn't put it on his shoulders right now. Yeah, I expect to see Piper let, let Logan Laddish. Our best linebacker's got to spy him. They have trips to the far side. Now there's. Lady's not in there. Some confusion. We got a number 40. Yeah, Leedy not on the field for Schnoot. That must be He's over there running on the sideline, just kind of getting loosened up. Maybe decided that mostly they're going to need him for offense. But he's a gamer. I can't imagine he doesn't want to be out there on defense. I don't know exactly what the holdup here is, but here we go. First and 10 from the 10-yard line. They get four plays. Laddish with trips to the outside. He's back to pass. Now he's going to run with it. He's being chased. Oh, what a good cut by Laddish. Now out to the outside, making a man miss. What a run by Logan Laddish. Touchdown. I Incredible said, run. I said we had to spy him. I knew he was going to get it. Oh, we got, we got us all. We got us up There's a flag. In the field, back, and then Laddish is surprised as anybody. He's already got his helmet on. You better put that on before you get out there. It is a hold on Piper. Big, big call. That remains first down. We look at the middle of the field, right? Yeah, right there. Well, there's oh, a right. tackle. Oh, yeah, well, there was a tackle there. Boy, there was a couple they could have called, it looked like. They got one of them, and it's first down now from the 20. Things get a little bit more interesting. Schnuke, he comes in. Schnuke gets a chance to regroup. That was not a good defensive play oh, for them, no. but it's all for not. Ladies back in the game at middle linebacker. Laddish waits for the snap. Now he runs out to his left. He's following a block, trying to string out the defense. Breaks off a tackle again, gets back to near the original line of scrimmage. Lady strung that out with. Laddish just continues to have tacklers sliding off him. Second down, though, from the 10. And Chanute has to find a way to stop that running attack. And I don't know if they got it in them. Well, they have been able to run almost at will. Okay, we're switching some things up. They just moved defensive line back around. We'll see what's. Okay, we've got it back to DNs on the outside. Here's Laddish. Now the and fake on the end of round. Boy, stayed that's home. not going to go Small anywhere. Stayed home. Yeah, Cade got the tackle, and that's going to bring up third and long. You see, that was a great call by the coach. He put the DNs back. We had them both on the same size, playing weight for the tackle on that right side against the Pirates, but he just put Small on the outside. Boy. I just don't know. I don't know. Number three has been carrying your football team. I just don't know, Coach. Fourth down or third down now. 
from the 10. And you're going first, so I mean, I'm almost assuming you got to feel forced to kick a field goal if you're not if you're not within one or two yards here. We'll see what happens on third down and long. Can the Chanute defense get a stop? Laddish running to his right. Here comes Dean. He lets one go. Touchdown. Wide open. Wide open. The Laddish threw a strike. And Piper scores first in overtime. Number five. Running back coming out of the back two. My goodness. Well, we described this at the beginning of the football game as a heavyweight boxing match. And what we are, this is Rocky IV. <laughs> this is just two heavyweights lobbing bombs at each other, going back and forth, and who's going who's gonna to get the last opportunity? That's what it seems like it's down to. They both hey, they're going for two here, Coach. I wondered if they would. I wondered if they would. Now we got a timeout. And it is a timeout for Piper. They want to talk it over. Oh, they had one for the half to the overtime. We'll keep it right here. Piper on the board first, and they're being aggressive, at least giving a look like they were going to go for two. We'll see what they choose to do. And I don't know what the kicker they have over there. You like that, Coach? You like that? Going for would, two? No. Going first? No, nope, I would said I would make Chanute have to choose what they were going to do if I yeah. would make sure for the for sure deal and said it. Oh man. I mean if they can com that, if they can convert it, boy, just it, does it keep the pressure on? Does it put the pressure on Schnute big time? We'll see. Laddish back out on the field. They're they're gonna go for two. I mean, they're pretty resolute here. Yeah, it's a big just, play. Big, big play. We held them for three and just they got a little dink and dunk into the end zone. Whatever, whatever the call is, it's got to be Laddish. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not putting this in anyone else's hands. And Tyreedy's got to be reading him right now. Here's the conversion. Laddish back to pass. He's going to let one go, and it's oh. incomplete. Well, I thought it got a – someone got a piece of it. I don't know if Tartar got his hand in there. It sure looked like it got deflected. Oh. Well, what he a – He's breathing a sigh of relief. What a gutsy call. But now Schnoot has to score. They have to score, they have to kick an extra point, and they can escape. Coming out. And I mean escape if they can get away with a win here. But it's a building stone, dude. They get this touchdown, it's a building stone because this is a, the biggest test of our t whole season. Man, I know, you know, your your textbooks may say run. I don't know, man. I like Caden Seamster and I like Seamster and Dean's chances of being open. We we spent the whole game talking about how Seamster and Dean seem to always get open on that out pattern. Yeah. Like just run a little out. I like their chances. We'll see what they choose to do. Herb has the snap. He fakes now the pass middle of the field. Touchdown! Touchdown. Seamster hey, on the slant. Yeah, One play it. and a score, and it all comes down to an extra point. Just like we thought, <laughs> it comes down to Jackson Vaughn. Jackson Vaughn, senior kicker, soccer player. It all comes down to this. Can Chanute escape? Here's Vaughn. Now we got a flag. Well, what's this? It's offsides, offsides. Now, do you do that on purpose? He wasn't even set up yet. Do you do that on purpose to goad us into going for two? Is that intentional? No. Nah. Because you move half the distance, it becomes one and a half yards oh, to, to the goal. Oh, to us? Yeah, to tempt oh, you into we going. we have no reason to. We're kicking. All right. It. I'm just saying. All we need is one for the win. We don't need two. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering, just curious. He could have, I mean. I mean, that was awfully early for an offsides. Like he, like they did it intentionally. As we said, Jackson Vaughn for the win. 41-41. See, snap, hold, kick, up. No, it's wide uh. left. We're going to the second overtime. Crushing. Oh my goodness. Maybe you had four. Wow. It. Wow. It stays the same. Everything's the same. Incredible. 
The other team gets the ball first, and then <sighs> Jackson Vaughn. I don't remember him missing an extra point attempt this year. I'm wondering if the wind down there, because their kicker last time, who's ranked number three in the state, he almost missed to the left, our left. My goodness. Yeah, that, that My hurts. goodness. Well, Piper, after it looked like Chanute had control of this game, Piper seemingly has gotten every break they needed since then. To crawl back in. And even there. I mean, it's an extra point, and this game's over. Yeah. And they somehow survive, and now Chanute's got to go prove it again. Double overtime. And the pressure each time mounts more on Chanute. They're the, they're they're the one seed. One seed yes. So they've got to go out here and execute. They get the ball first here in overtime number two. What, whatever happens at the end of this game, you're going to have two teams that really laid it all but out on the field. What an incredible game. They, they got nothing left in their tanks. They're going to be tired individuals, all, both teams. Here we go. We're with the double meet back field. Herb in the gun with two running backs around him. He's waggling to his right. Blocks are breaking down. He lets one go in the corner. Did it catch? No signal. He caught it. They're going to call it out of bounds. Well, they're going to confer about it. Well, you either saw it or you didn't. It's a touchdown. touchdown. Wow. Wow. I was going to say it was a catch, but whether he was in bounds, we couldn't see. So. Oh, and now we've got an unsportsmanlike. There's a flag on the field, and that's going to be an unsportsmanlike penalty on Piper, most certainly. Wow. Wow. And Dean, they're saying, let's go for it, coach. The auto line is. Herb, let's just talk about this throw and the catch. Wow. Yeah, he looked like his knee was down. He, all that was in question was whether he yeah, caught control, the ball because yeah. his knee hits the blue. Yep. Dagan Dean, let's talk about that throw from Herb. Oh, my goodness. Right, what a throw. He could catch it. No, what not a, throw. a risk of an interception. Now, are they allowed? What are the rules here? Are they allowed to take this on the ensuing possession, or do they have to take it on the conversion? And if they take it on the conversion, do you go for two? Well, after I mean, I think what, you're going I, for well, two. I, I was going to say, yeah. after what would just happened, if they if we we take it here and get, just leave it up to your quarterback and your running back. Yeah. Man. But that's where he gets paid the big bucks to be the head coach. The chess game. <laughs> it's 10-15 almost, coach. <laughs> this is a marathon of a football game. Well, we, we're not going to hear it. His mic has been cutting out all night. What he said was, unspo and you, of it. I don't know what's happened here. I think sportsman like on the Kansas City Pirates. I don't know why yeah. I called them that. <laughs> the ball's still on the three. He's not even in the game. Number seventies who did it. Oh my goodness! Did he get ejected? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, that oh, might be his coach wow. doing that because for saying. It might have been his coach. It is half the distance. Yeah, we're not going to. Yep, so this is just as much of a test right here, guys, when you go for two. Schnoot will go for two in what Surely is. Surely we leave it in Herb's hand, quarterback sneak. This is an or absolutely huge play. Train. Well, your their best lineman just walked out of the game. Yeah. They are, they are in the shotgun. We got to go to the hole. You give this ball to Leedy. Yeah. This ball's going to Leedy. Nope. nope. It's Herb, Herb following Leedy. He's. It's a race to the pylon. Did he get in? No. Nope. He did not. He got helicoptered the wrong way. Oh my goodness! What a play call and what a pursuit by the defense of Piper. Now we got some. Some discussions going on, but my goodness, Piper finds themselves in position to capitalize. Yeah, 70 not coming back out on the field. It appears he's been ejected from this ball game. He had two unsportsmanlike conducts. Wow. Wow. I mean, just so many events happening here. So, a, How do you not take it through where that guy was at? A missed opportunity for the two-point conversion. Now Piper in great position to escape with the win. they got to score first. Here's Lattice. Give to the running back. He's following a blocker. He's breaking tackles down to the three. He was locomoting. Come on, defense. Terrell Anderson, the carry. Terrell Anderson caught that <sighs> or ran that. Second down coming up. That's who cut the. And Piper. 
in a wonderful position. Second and goal from the two and a half yard line. Chanute needs to make something happen. Here's Laddish. He's got the snap, the handoff, up the middle, touchdown. He hasn't ran the ball all game. We're, we're... Piper's an extra point away from a huge upset. It all comes down to this. Same position that Schnute was in in the first overtime. Could not convert on the extra point. And Piper is an extra point away. Number three kicker. This is a strength for the Pirates. It's a good kicker. Number 81, Zane Busick. Well, now we've got a whistle and what I assume is a timeout. Timeout, Chanute. Oh, my. So you're hoping that there is a missed snap, a bobble on the hold. Your defense has some sort of chance to get in there. Get but you need something to happen. A low kick for get, a block. Get a tip on the block from the outside. A dream season for Chanute being threatened right now. Double overtime. Schnute scored on the first possession, but then missed on the two-point conversion. From the one and a half yard line, there was a penalty, coach, and right. they missed on that conversion. This is Piper has had a lot of the breaks in the last five minutes of regulation and through these overtimes. And now they are one more break away from escaping out of here with a big upset. It's all on the foot of Zane Busick, a senior kicker. There's the whistle. Here's the snap, it's high, the hold's down, the kick is up, and it's good. Piper has pulled off the upset here in Chanute. They win it 48 to 47. Well, it was just, that was a rough call. Go for it after your kicker. I mean, he had to make a choice and your kicker misses to the left at the same place. That's a tough call. Mm. Well, what a game. What a game played by Piper High School. They made all the plays down the stretch that they needed to make. I keep going back to the onside kick, Coach. That was I agree. just an incredible effort play. And Piper made a lot of mistakes through the game, but I would, I would say consistently played with more energy for most of the game. They came out like they were shot out of a cannon. And what an incredible high school football game that comes down to this as Piper wins it 48 to 47. And Chanute's dream season ends in disappointment. Double overtime. Double overtime. Well, Coach, there's, there's no fun way to wrap this up. Nope. You wanted more. We talked about this early in the broadcast where football is just kind of different. You know, you can play in basketball pickup games mm -hmm. as an adult. There's softball, baseball rec leagues that you can keep playing in. You don't get to keep playing football. And so you're seeing that heartbreak out on the field for these seniors. The Blue Comets did not want their season to end this way. And boy, this is going to be a tough tape to watch. I don't imagine that they'll watch this tape because they had every opportunity to seal this win. Every opportunity. And they just, oh, man, Piper made the plays they needed to make when they needed to make them. You got some breaks. They, stay, they didn't hang their heads. And, I mean, yeah. neither team. It was a war, like you said. It's a rough one. Yeah, well, you can, again, you can see the heartbreak down there the from hardest. the Chanute players. It's tough. It's tough. My coach is hard. Every one of them. Well, what a season that your Blue Comets had. Boys, keep your heads high. You don't win them all, but you leave it out on the field, and that's what they did. What a great season. It doesn't diminish 
anything you did. Well, you ran into a Piper team that, listen, better than their seeding. Okay, again, we, we can talk about the private schools on our side of the bracket, but here's a Piper team in Kansas City, but they played 5A schools. Like, this is a team that their record was deceiving. We talked about that in the Man. pregame, that this is a team that beat 5A Had schools. They beat Topeka West. I mean, listen, this is not a fluke. It's not a fluke. This is a legit team, and it just so worked out that the kind of the teams you didn't want to run into early just happened to be in our part of the bracket, and that don't give it up to Piper because they executed when they had to, made the plays, and boy, did they make the plays. Yep. Logan Laddish, For he's sure. player of the game. For sure. Just an incredible uh, willpower performance by Logan Laddish. He didn't do anything flashy. No, he just, just willed him. He willed him. Coach, it's been a great season. It's been fun. Uh, thank you so much to the Chanute Tech classes. They did an excellent job all year. This is the best stream in the state. We're happy to be a part of it. Thank you so much for watching this whole season and uh, giving us a shot, giving our stream a shot. We'll see you next season. Look forward to it.